अभी तुम नीचे गए तो तुम वहाँ देखे कितने अच्छा से मेरे को भी भाई देख के आ जाओ जा मैं इधर देख रहा हूँ मैं चाचा में आ गया हेलो हम लोग मुझे स्टार्ट कर दिया है बट ये सर को कॉल कर रहे हैं वो कर रहे हैं
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to day two of our workshop. We're thrilled to have Mr. Prasad Nayak again with us today. Mr. Nayak's expertise in finance and his engaging teaching style have made our workshop both informative and engaging. So let's dive into today's session with Mr. Nayak's valuable guidance. Instruments, right or wrong? What are fixed income instruments where there is 
no risk like government initiatives which are there what did i explain to you yesterday if you are giving the money to the government it is risk free right simple is it right or wrong whenever we are making the money or giving the money to the government can your government default at least not yours correct so what i am trying to say here is this interest is risk free so without doing anything if you invest you are getting a return which is called as risk free returns is risk free returns clear to everyone yes no yes sir so first concept you have understood is risk free returns now when we talk about a fixed income product when i am looking for a fixed, uh, fixed income product i am taking no risk at all but when i take no risk what will happen returns will be sacrificed will the returns be sacrificed yes. yes so whatever i am getting extra is the premium which i am getting so example if i say the paper is very simple you can get 30 marks easily so that is risk free for you the moment it is 31 32 33 it becomes what the premium or the additional marks which are there. same concept here simple 6% 7% is risk free if you are earning 10% that means 3% is additional are you understanding is risk free basic clear to everyone so if you see here there is rf okay that is risk free now here there are two factors what is the difference in this formula and this formula look at the denominator this is like example if i write it here this will be what rx minus rf upon standard deviation and the next one that is there is rx minus rf upon beta which is there so you can see the difference so these two gentlemen there is one called as shark one called as trainer they according to them as i explained you right now what is i explained you right now you are going for extra what is that extra is this expected portfolio return did you understood the extra yes no Yes. What is risk free? Something which is common. So you can see in the numerator it is common for both of them, right? Is it common for both of them? Yes. Sir. But what are we observing in the denominator? What has standard deviation? Now what the standard deviation does? It is helping us to know how much are we varying from the actual returns. Correct or wrong? standard deviation will is in simple term so the standard deviation deviating from the average simple term so you will have this data given to you you don't need to calculate standard deviation at least for a mutual fund is that clear when we do for stocks we will calculate that difference is it clear we are doing that concept next after this so the first thing we are trying to understand is these data will be already given to you it is just implementation is the first part here first formula i'll show it in excel the calculation also at the moment understanding clear to everyone what is beta now now when i say beta of the portfolio or the beta of the stock now when we say the word beta beta refers to the change okay so when we say change like example say we, we will see beta also in a website let's say moneycontrol.com has all the beta components which are there so every stock there is a beta given so the beta values generally are so there is a beta of 1 there is a beta of less than 1 and there is a oh sorry greater than 1 and there is a beta of less than 1 three components are there what is bad what is good generally this will be what above one will be what risky this that is above one will be risky whereas below one is manageable are you understanding this stock hai to risk hoga hi but kitna risk lena hai what is to be taken that is which is there are you understanding this part so mutual fund also has what mutual fund also has what or yesterday we saw one mutual fund jisme sare stocks the correct or not was there stocks in the mutual fund yesterday when i showed you one fund so agar wo stocks udhar hai to mutual fund ka bhi ek beta hoga so there is 
In this case, we will be having the data that is beta of the portfolio. Got it? At the moment, look at these two formulas. This one I'll explain you separately. Okay? Is this two formulas clear? We immediately go to the working part also. So uh, it helps us to understand it faster. Okay, uh, visible at the back. Is it visible or should I increase it? Okay. Huh? So, what we observe here is this is the data which will be given to you. Okay, in case of the portfolios, now when we say portfolios, we have got what? The returns, the average returns of the portfolio. When I say the word average return, what will happen? What, the, what does a portfolio comprise of different assets, correct? So if it comprises of different assets, some assets will be giving higher returns, some will be giving lower returns. Total returns are these average returns. Do you agree? Yes. So we are seeing now at the same time there is market also there. Okay. There is a market return. What will be market returns? Yesterday I gave you a concept of active and passive. When I say market returns means what? On an average, currently the market is giving me this much percent return. Is it clear? Now by the look of it, we can say A portfolio is bad. Correct? By the look of it, I can say A portfolio is bad. Let's see how we have other information also available. Now, what do we have here? Do we have the standard deviation? Do we have the beta given to you? Okay. What was the formula? What was the formula? And what is risk fee? Okay. Eight, correct? So, manually also if you do, or in your this things, that is DXL. So, 12 minus 8, 4 percent. Correct? So, if you keep your this thing, now everything, what will happen in the first scenario? What is the numerator? How can I write negative? Standard deviation. Any. One numerator. Mein. What is the numerator? Rx minus Rf, right? Rx minus Rf. So that means 4, 8, 6. Correct? Ye dono formula ke constant rahega. In both the formula, that is be it primer or be it sharp, in either of the case, numerator was constant. Yes or no? Yes. So you can write, say if you are writing it on the Excel, if you do just 4, 6, that is 4, 8 and 6. Is that clear? Yes, no? Yes. Now, how do you calculate, uh, what was the first thing? If you see the Sharpe's measure, there was what? Standard deviation. So 4 upon 0 0.85. Correct? Similarly, market is also there, so this is 5. So what I'm, what I you have to do is you have to, and this is all already solved. If you see the formula as per the formula we have done. So what did I say first? First step was what? Okay, one of you just calculate. Twelve minus eight, four. Yes, twelve minus eight, four. Four divided by what? Zero point eight five. Standard deviation. We don't write in percentage. Keep that in mind. Standard deviation cannot be written in percentage. So therefore, what have I got? 5% here as per sharp. Okay, that is 0 0.05. Do you agree? Those who guys are working, have you got this value? Yes. Now see here. This is all the same working for B and C also. And as per now, market is giving me how much returns? 0 0.5. So anything above that is good. Right? Anything above that is good. At the same time, if I have to rank it, what? how will the ranking be? This is first. Correct? This is second. And this is third. So what have you done? You have ranked your portfolios based on Sharpe's measure. Have you understood how to use this? Yes, everyone. Proper. What will happen in triangle? The same, except the fact it will be what? 
beta. So example, if I give you the same information, 4 divided by 1.2, 8 divided by 1.3, 6 divided by 1.1. Is that also possible to be worked on? I hope you guys are understanding what is to be done. Yes. Now, there may be a chance that your answer may change in terms of ranking because these values are different. Are you understanding? Okay. There may be a chance. I am not, what I am trying to say is you calculate, you tell me is there a change. All your rankings are the same. You understood this ranking? You understood this ranking? 1, 2, 3. Highest is the first followed by the number. And we are seeing which has done better as comparison to the market. Okay? Same way, in short, now this was almost equal to the market, A. But these two are the ones which are exceeding it. Now see this here. Does that make any change? Yes, it does. Now this gets eliminated only. Look here and look here. Now which is better? Only B. Correct or not? Now only B is better. Why only B is better? Because according to Trainer, A has not even given me market difference. You understood the difference now? Yes. Similarly, C has almost touched it. But C has not exceeded it. It is only B which has done. No doubt here B was one. Correct. But here, what has happened? Here it has gone down also. Have you understood the difference? So, so now, when we take beta as a factor, it is different. When we take standard deviation as a factor, it is different. Now, let's use the third measure, which is the Jensen's measure. Okay. Now, when we talk about Jensen, uh, What, what do you observe in Jensen is this formula is same except the fact what beta. Now, example market returns. Market returns is the same. Correct? Risk free will be what? Risk free will be what? That same percentage is there. So, what is changing here? Beta. Am I right or wrong? So, if you do now, if we go back to that. Excel. Okay. If we go back to the Excel, the formula says what? Portfolio returns minus this. Okay. So first calculation is ka hoga. First calculation is ka hoga. Then we will be using the portfolio returns. What are portfolio returns? Average returns. Whichever you had used in the formula. Like example, 14 minus 8, 16 minus 8, 12 minus 8, 6. Correct. 14 minus 6 you scale, right or wrong? One of the portfolio at 14? Yes. Yes? yes. So your 12, 16 and 14 will be used later. First, what will be there? How much is our market returns? 13. Correct? Right? First market returns are how much? How much are your market returns? 13. What is the risk free returns? 8. How will you write it now? 8 plus. So if you are doing it for A, A will be what? Will it be like 8 plus? 8 plus what will be there? How much is your beta? 1.2. So 8 plus 1.2. Bracket 13 minus 8. Is it clear to everyone? I'll repeat again 8 plus 1.2 bracket 13 minus 8 for what? A. P will be what? 8 plus 1.3 bracket 13 minus 8. No, we are not using this. 13 minus 8 is constant. What was your formula? Rf plus beta Rm minus Rf. Ye baad nahi use karna hai. Isko pila nahi use karna hai. 
we are using only this value. Here. Okay, so I'll repeat again. Just if you are writing it down, if you are solving it, first is what your risk. So what was your formula? Formula is this. That is R F plus beta bracket R M minus R F. So what did I say? These three components R F, R M, R F is constant. What is changing is what beta. Beta. And that beta will take it from there. What is your market returns? Thirty. What is your uh, risk free returns? Eight percent. So that is constant. Are you getting it? So it will be what eight plus whatever is the beta. Thirteen minus eight. Okay. So A ka alag hai, B ka alag hai, C ka alag hai. Is that clear now to everyone? Shall we go to that Excel? You guys will calculate the first part. Yes. Okay. Is everyone following it or is it going fast? Because it is numerical, therefore I'm asking. Yeah. So what is measures actually? Give us a rate of measure of what? Like example, it is helping understand which portfolio is doing well. So it is like helping you to judgment what is correct, what is good or bad. Do you so like yeah portfolios? Okay. Okay, uh, so I will put the values. You will be getting something like this. Here I have 12.8, 18.4, 14.6. Just check. If you have put it, these have you got these values? Like I have already solved it. Are you getting these values? First, first part. Abhi ka second part karna baaki hai. Only the bracket wala answer. R F plus beta R M minus R F. Are you getting these values? Eight plus example. Okay, I'm indicating it for A. Just check. Eight plus one point two. Bracket thirteen minus eight. Eight plus one point two. Bracket thirteen minus eight. In Excel, be careful. Brackets play a very important role. Otherwise, yes, yeah, how? See this. Uh, I know it is not visible to you. I have made a double bracket. Okay. अगर आपने ये bracket miss किया, तो Excel कुछ और के काम करता है. The disadvantage of Excel is this. You have to write down the formula very specific. So therefore, one bracket will not go. Here, another bracket will go, and another bracket will go. Okay, those are doing in Excel. Those are doing manually. I think some of you are doing manually. Are you getting the values? Manually, did anyone get the value? This is forty-six. Forty-six. Excel is not there. No, sir, manually. It will not come forty-six because uh, how much is your beta? One point two, not point two. So अगर one point two और five करोगे तो कितना आएगा? Eight thirty minus eight is how much? Five. Five into one point two is six. Correct or wrong? So it can't go to forty six. You should get something like this value. No. Expected returns. 
Now, what do you mean by the term expected returns? On an average, if I am getting these 12%, well, the portfolio A on an average will give me how much? Or what can be expected from portfolio A minimum? Guys, I will repeat my question again. When I am saying average returns is 12%, so that means what is expected from A minimum? 12%. So, have you understood what is expected returns also? Concept average return, expected returns. It's a just a use of words, but just try to understand it. Okay. So now this is as this is the value which you have got. Correct? What you have to do is now this value that is now what was the formula then? Portfolio returns. So portfolio return is example A K Kitan portfolio returns. 12. So 12 minus 14. Got it? 12 minus 14 will be for A. B ke le kya hoga? B ke le kya hoga? 16 minus 14.5. Is everyone following it there? Yes. C ke le kya hoga? C ke le kya hoga? 13 minus, sorry, 14 minus 13.5, so that is 0 0.5, so on again, check it, what is, which is better? B. B, right? 1.5. Because first one will be minus 2, correct? First one you got 12 minus 14 minus 2, second is what? 16 minus 14.5, 1.5, positive, am I right? Yes. 1.5 is positive, third one is? 0 0.5. So again, if you have to rank, how will you rank it? If you have to rank, or which is better, B is better. You understood how it is done? Is portfolio B better? Yes. Yes. Are the three measures understood by each one of you? Is risk, what do you say? How to do it in mutual funds is clear. Now, is there our or a concept here, which we normally forget to do? Okay, now this is where this is we did it from a portfolio's point of view. Is portfolio concept clear to all? Is portfolio concept clear to all? This is one portfolio. This is not individual mutual fund, this is a portfolio. Are you understanding? Now where can this be useful? Sometimes this can be useful when a mutual fund agent says he I handle these many portfolios. So we can see how is he effectively managing it. Is it clear? Yes. Is this three concepts clear to everyone? Yes. Now let's take a one basic example. Uh, fifth standard basic maths. How do you calculate profit and loss? Fifth standard basic maths. Selling price minus cost price upon cost price into 100 is percentage. Am I correct or not? Those, how many invest in share market? How many invest in share markets? Okay. Uh, question to them. How do you calculate your profit? Huh? <laughs> 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 okay. So, I don't see the Yes, last match. Correct. So, in terms of percentage, do you calculate or is it like Siddha rate? No, that's all. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's all. But what happens in this is, okay, uh, he's on the right track. So, generally, what are we doing in terms of our portfolios? Now, no doubts, these days we are very much advanced. The portfolio map, uh, that is the apps and all, are doing everything for us. But manually, we don't see this much. Or I can say, let's go years ago. What used to happen was, he, suppose uh, he has invested 100 rupees and others the stock price was 120. He used to say that 20 rupees the profit. Hai. Okay, 20 rupees the profit, hai, but he was not understanding how much has he got actually. The reason? The reason is what the last, that is, who was sitting on the last page said that. Whenever I am calculating portfolio, that is in terms of a stock, I always measure my amounts and not my 
percentage. Simple example, 5 rupees share you purchase. Okay, 5 rupees share if you have purchased. 5 rupees stock becomes 6 rupees. 5 rupees stock has become 6 rupees now. According to you, it is not more than According to you, it is not more than 1 rupee profit. Hai. Correct? Hai? More, 1 rupee profit. Hai. Most of us feel nothing has been earned. But then, 1 divided by 5 to 100 is how much? 20 percent. Which bank gives you that return? Which bank is giving you that return? But what is happening for us? We are waiting. 5 rupee ka stock 10 rupee hona chahiye. That time we will exit. Correct? At least some of us. We are looking only ki 5 rupee better hai. We are not calculating in terms of percentage. When Indians start doing that, they will understand the, what you say, the benefits of investment which are. Because technically what is happening, most of us are considering what? Amounts. If I have invested 500 in a stock, or a total 500, otherwise 550, I am still not satisfied. The reason? Only 50 rupees. But percentage is how much? 10%. Which bank gives me that? And this can happen, say, in one week also. This can happen in one month also. This can happen in one year also. But in a bank, how much is it? How much is it? But we will play the waiting game. Correct? We will play the waiting game and we will lose an opportunity here. Main thing about stock market, now we are going to the next topic. That is how we calculate risk and returns in stock market. Future funds here. Yes. So main thing when we calculate about stock, what, what is happening in stock market is people feel keep I don't know when to enter and when to exit. Am I correct or not? Yes. When to enter and when to exit. How many, okay, next question to the, how many traders are there, there are, how many investors are there except last bench, then this was one more here. Someone else? Someone else? Okay. Okay. Uh, how do you enter the stock market? How do you buy a stock? Companies? Value, okay. Value means in which term? Amount. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going to share, I'm going to share. Yes, you do it. Okay, market value. Do you value? So, is it a specific uh, criteria to enter? No, sir. No, sir. So, you can buy a stock of 2000 also. You can buy a stock of 500. Just asking, okay? Just asking because some of us have that concept also. Okay, some of us look for numbers. I'll explain you that that is coming in the slide. That some of the people look for numbers. When I say numbers, one share of Reliance is how much? 2500. 2500. Okay, 2500 is one stock of Reliance, right? So if I spend 2500, I'm getting one share of Reliance. On the other hand, one stock of a particular company is available at 250. Same investment of 2500 will give me 10 stocks. Yes. Now, why am I teaching you this or why, why am I telling you this? What happens when Reliance, suppose not 2500, 2700, I exited from the stock. I exited from the stock, I am out of that stock, right or wrong? I got if not 200 rupees, less than 10%. What 250 becomes 300? What if I don't sell all the stocks? What if I don't sell all the stocks? What, which phase are we here? We are trying to accumulate, right? We are trying to accumulate. So what I am trying to say here is, if possible, if you have decided the investment amount, look for number of stocks. So when I say number of stocks, like example, SPI right now is how much? 600, example. But if you number number, your investment pattern is only 600 right now, then don't buy one share of SBI and keep it with you. If possible, buy a stock which is of 60 rupees so that you get 10 stocks. Why? Why am I teaching you this? Because when that 60 is becoming 70, you are still in the market. You may not exit all the 10 shares. Suppose you exit only 3 shares, what is going to happen? 
अगर आगे वो स्टॉक रैली करने वाला है तो यू आर स्टिल इन द मार्केट फॉर दैट स्टॉक इज दैट हैपनिंग और कैन दैट हैपन फॉर यू सो दैट मींस व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इफ पॉसिबल इनिशियली एट लीस्ट व्हेन यू गाइस स्टार्ट ट्रेडिंग बाय स्टॉक्स ऑफ लोअर वैल्यू देयरफॉर व्हेन व्हेन मैन सेड वैल्यू आई माय क्वेश्चन टू हर वाज व्हाट इज द वैल्यू व्हिच इज इन्वेस्ट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड माय पॉइंट राइट नाउ सो इफ शी सेस 1000 रुपीस is it 1000 ka ek stock or is it 1000 rupees k 10 into 10 stocks sorry 10 into 100 uh, which is 100 rupees is the base value 10 stocks liye yeah, it can be the other way around also is it coming to 1000 okay are you understanding the difference what will be the difference here is you are still in the market and aapko complete exit karne ki zarurat nahi are you understanding this what if they are because most of the times in stock market what is that we regret am i correct why do we regret suppose who reliance nikal gaya and then it is 2800 900 3000 we start regretting correct or wrong at least here what is happening we are still in the market are we completely out of the market so as a suggestion or as an advice if possible agar aap start kar rahe ho trading डबल डिजिट वाले स्टॉक्स से स्टार्ट करो मतलब दो स्टॉक्स जिनका वैल्यू मतलब लेस देन 100 रुपीस पर शेयर इफ यू कैन स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग सो दैट आप नंबर पहले क्रिएट कर सकते व्हेन आई से नंबर मींस व्हाट यू आर मेकिंग योर पोर्टफोलियो फर्स्ट स्टैंड नाउ इफ आई से ब्रिटानिया इज अवेलेबल एट 4000 रुपीस और नेस्ले इज अवेलेबल एट 4000 रुपीस 5000 रुपए डाल लो एक ही स्टॉक आएगा वो एक स्टॉक बढ़ने के लिए कितना टाइम लगता है वी नो ओके 10% ब्रिटानिया में रिटर्न्स चाहिए हाउ मच द स्टॉक शुड गो फॉर सो 4500 में आई एम एंटरिंग क्लोज टू 5000 बट ये स्टॉक अगर आपने ₹40 का लिया रिटर्न वाइज 10% इज ₹4 ओनली आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थिंग आई होप एवरीवन इज क्लियर विद व्हाट इज इट व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सो देयरफॉर सी समटाइम्स इट हैपेंस लाइक इनिशियल डेज I was just doing so much. I was like, "Hey, man, I can tell you one thing that also happened with me. First trade when I did, I had previous data that I traded. So when I did previous data, what will happen? In that day, the stock was doing well. Next day, when I traded, it went down. So that is possible. Unless and until you make mistakes, you won't learn. But don't make major mistakes also. Don't lose one, one, two, two lakhs in stock market. That is bad. Okay." therefore yes sir is what was my question to you how much amount can you for go yes sir pass so hazar i am still talking in terms of what a common man language only i am talking i am not pitching this to someone who is in one lakh two lakh three lakh four lakh kitna mein nahi bolo this amount 500 is your losing is nothing example or 1000 is nothing as compared to what maximum loss you can go okay so keep this in mind we we'll come to that concept now is this clear yes okay now the next concept which is there again some bit of calculation is we are talking about risk and returns okay uh, what does risk and return means what does risk and return means is when i am having two stocks to decide okay like let's say 500 is my investment right now but there are two opportunities in front of me condition is i have to buy one stock Have you understood this? I can't invest some amount here, some amount there. I can buy only one stock. What to do? The best option is check the returns. Okay. The best option is check the returns. Higher the returns, better is the stock. Simple. But ये भी check करो. वो stock में risk कितना है? Are you understanding? Sometimes it may happen that returns looks higher, but risk is Also higher, or it can be vice versa. Also possible. We will see that in a calculation. We will try to understand that. So first, check the. So there are two concepts when we talk about risk and returns. So the first basic is normal returns and risk. I will tell you the formula. Simple average. Can be. How what is the average? How do you do average? Simple average. How do you do average? 
total divided by the number right or wrong yes yes total divided by the number so the two measures which we have to use is mean what is mean average correct right? so returns ke liye mean returns ke liye mean risk ke liye standard deviation you are doing a bit of mathematics right now here risk ke liye standard deviation returns ke liye mean okay great so if i give you this data uh, if i know this is not visible now is it visible yes sir great uh these are your five years ka returns okay there are two stocks in front of you five years ka returns do one basic calculation average returns nikal ke which stock is better average returns nikal ke do which stock is better you have this aapko khali add karna hai divide by 5 karna hai correct or wrong yes yes do it for both okay okay Do it for both of them. First is ten point four, right? Yes. Yes. Twelve point four. How much? Twelve point four. First one. Second one. Okay. How much? Twelve point four. Twelve point four. Okay. So it justifies that B is better. अभी वो खाली बिल्कुल भी intent इधर सामान पे ठीक है. आह. ये it is ten and twelve. Easy for calculation purpose. We take it as ten and twelve. Fine. Now आह uh, this is mean. Correct or wrong? Yes. So mean means Returns. So according to me, B is better. Let's justify that by checking the risk also. Let's justify that by checking the risk also. Is B actually better? Because only what are you seeing? Both are more than fair. One is giving you 10%, one is giving you 12%. Right? How will we do standard deviation? How will do you do standard deviation? Last uh, students. How do you do standard deviation? नहीं एक्सेंट पार्ट ऑफ़ होल्ड करना पड़ेगा एक ही नहीं क्या करना पड़ेगा Is it twelve twelve minus ten Is it twelve minus ten Yes Yes and then जो भी आता है उसका इधर square करते हैं right or wrong Yes, no. Sub ka we can na. Correct. So example, what we have to do is 12 minus 10. जो भी आता है उसका square. अभी आपने यहाँ पे क्या किया था? Total लिया था, right or wrong? How will you want this 10 percent? Total. So same way आपको क्या करना है? हर एक का standard deviation निकालना है. That is total. You need to find the total thing. So what you have to do is first. Initial subtraction, then you start square. Getting it or no? Yes. दूसरे का क्या आएगा? Zero, right? Will it be zero? Will it be zero? It's okay. Just one or two calculations there. Main thing is let them understand, let them do. Dragging तो हो जाएगा बाद में. But is it zero in the second case? Yes, third case is minus two. Again, it is four, correct? Yes. Fourth is one. One. Perfect. Fifth is nine. Nine. Right? Correct or wrong? Correct. So your values are four, zero, four, one, and nine. This is coming to eighteen, right? But then, what is what is what we have to do? Eighteen divided by five, and जो भी आएगा उसका root standard deviation requires root correct or no? Yes. Eighteen divided by five three point six, so zero point six is your standard deviation. Check. One point eight something. 
The same, the same thing do for B and tell me what are your, what is your risk, what is the method what you have to do? Yes? 3.8 3 3 to 6 sir man 3.8 to Is this the value you are getting? 3.8? Yes, no? Okay, now pay attention. Uh, everyone, what is 3.8? Yes, sir. Okay, now listen here. Uh, what do you observe in terms of risk? What, do you, what are you observing in terms of risk? <coughs> returns, just see the returns. It is how much? 10 and 12. 10 and 12, correct? Risk. Do you, don't you think so? To earn that two percent, you are taking double the risk. Yes. yes. So in my case, even though B is giving you higher returns, A as a stock will be better. Why? Less risk. Because less risk. So no, don't always what you say. Uh, consider returns as a factor. Check risk also as a factor. The whole exercise or the whole idea is to make you understand this concept. That is the risk as well as the returns. Are you understanding what is risk and returns here? Yes. What the measures are the same one which you are using always. Mean of analysis all the Standard deviation we are maximizing. Now you have to do the application. And that is what the forces generally should do. Like when we Take up now this concept like uh, mean, median, mode. This is use capital of the applications are like this. Are you understanding? When you did standard deviation in mathematics, they didn't tell you the use case. Correct? They teach, we are talking about 11 and 12 standards. That time, max was there. At that time, max was used to solve the main data. 
here is the application. Are you understanding what is it? Yes. Is this clear to everyone? Can we move to the next part of this? Everyone okay? Everyone understood this or no? Anyone having a doubt in the calculation, please ask. Or, or in the conclusion, please ask so that I can move ahead. All okay? Everyone understood the application? So, in short, you have to consider risk as well as, so, sorry, whenever you are taking returns, you have to consider what? Risk also associated with that. And when we say, now suppose, other, let's change the values. If my risk instead of 1.8 right now is, say, 2.5. So, anyway, uh, let's say in this case, 12% returns are, but my risk is lower than that. Then this is definitely a good investment to buy. Yes. Then we are breaking our own, what you say, principle. principle. Higher the risk, higher the returns. Are you understanding that part? So, we at the, at the end, always we have to understand what our risk appetite is. How much risk can I get? Like example, if I say I am okay to go with 10 rupees, that is the risk that is worth I am taking. Like whatever, whatever I was telling you, you can invest up to 500 rupees. So that is the risk which you are taking. Usme, if we calculate, say example, 10% loss is possible, that means what? 50 rupees loss is possible. So I will still earn 450. Are you getting it or no? What is the potential loss which I have? What is the potential loss? 10% 10 percent So 450 is still with me. Are you getting it? On the other hand, when you directed that one has to get So he according to him, if you put 100 check will be. It's not a decline. So if it is 100, it will not be zero automatically. Are you understanding this? There are different models for that, that is how to calculate risk, one of all these portfolios may concepts set, which we use in uh, all these data science courses as that part, like VAR and all that, these are different concepts. We are teaching you right now a basic thing, there are more advanced things associated. But is this clear now? Risk and returns? Yes. Can I move to the next part of the same concept, risk and returns only? Now this is the past data, okay? This what we had was past data. That is year one year returns tha, year two mein year returns hai, year three mein kaisa returns tha. This is something which is past data. Now we are doing something different, where we are talking about expected returns. Now I know some time ago I told you average returns and expected returns are almost the same. Correct or wrong? Yes. What is recession? Can anyone tell me what is recession? Example? Negative. negative. So markets become negative. So returns can also be negative. Yes. Uh, then we talk about growth. Like example, there is a good time of the stock market. That means returns should be positive and then there is normal. These situations are there. Uh, what is probability? Again, a concept of mathematics. We are using it here. What is probability? Possibility. Possibility. Correct. So, what? how much is the probability? 100% total. Like if I say the chance of rain today is 70%, means no rain is how much? 30%. Perfect. Okay. Now, see this situation. Same two stocks, A and B, but now what has happened is we have a Scenario which is there. I just explained you three things. There can be, so there is situations are normal, that is as for today, but there is a chance of what? Growth. There is a chance of what? Recession. Now, in this case, we have to judge which stock is better. You understood what is the situation? Same concept of that, risk and returns. First, risk and returns was based on what? Past data. This was already a past data. Year 5 ka data ka. So it was based on past data which is there. Ye abhi expected ho gaya. Why expected ho gaya? Because probability has come. 
Have you understood the difference now? यहाँ पे risk and returns कैसे calculate करना है? It's simple. Returns पहले returns देखते हैं. What was the returns का concept पहले? What did you do? Mean निकाला था. यहाँ पे simple multiplication करना है और total देना है. इसको multiply करना है. Probability and the returns. Probability and the returns. So example A का 0.5 into 14 percent. Seven perfect plus plus zero point three into eighteen percent. Are you understanding? Yes. Now if you see in recession, I have shown a negative because recession में chance क्या होता है? Stock के board आओ. Are you understanding? So in this case, what will happen? Zero point two into eight minus में आएगा. तो आप आपके दो values positive है, एक value negative है. Be careful when you do. I will understand what you have to do. You have to just do basic calculation. 0.5 into 14, that is 7, right? 7%. 7 percent, correct. Second is 0.3 into 18 percent, which is 5.4. Yes. yes, and the third one will be minus 1.6. Perfect. So, 7 plus 5.4 minus 7 plus 5.4 minus 1.6 is your expected returns. You understand what did I do right now? I will repeat again. If A value is 7, right? Dusra value is 5.4. So 7 plus 5.4 minus 1.6 is your expected returns. Are you understanding? Yes. Now what will happen? Minus 1.6. So 7 plus 5.4 minus 1.6. The answer is? 10.8. 10.8 is your expected return of security A. Simple. B का कैसे करोगे? Same. And then you can consider which is better in terms of returns first. Risk भी मैं बता दूँ पहले. Go for what? First go for basic returns. Are you understanding what I have to do? I'll repeat again. What you have to do is you just have to multiply. This that is probability into this part that is seven percent. Okay. Same way the next one will also be there. So this was how much you said the first answer was. Then 49, this is 361, right? 
After this take the total. Okay, after this take the total, so you will get your standard deviation. Like this, do it for B also. You understood the procedure? You understood the procedure, what you have to do? Can you do it for B and come to a conclusion? Can you do it for B and come to a conclusion? How many have not understood the method? I will repeat it again, just pay attention. First thing you have to do is probability into the value. That is probability into the returns. When you do probability into the returns, you will get your average returns. That is expected returns. This is clear. Once you get your expected returns, the same procedure till the square part. Okay. The same procedure till the square part. But when you get the square, aapko kya karna hai? you have to again multiply it with probability. Okay. Yahan pe koi division nahi karna hai. Now we are doing is pure multiplication. Is this clear? Yes, and then do A for A as well as for B and then B compare.
इनका काम नॉर्मल बैंक जैसा नहीं है दे आर नॉट टेकिंग मनी फ्रॉम यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिपॉजिट्स एंड एक्सेप्टिंग मनी एंड ऑल दे आर नॉट डूइंग दैट इनका काम ये है सो दे आर जनरली हेल्पिंग इन ऑल दीस आईपीओस एंड ऑल दैट पार्ट सो सपोज एज अ कंपनी यू वांट टू लिस्ट योरसेल्फ इन द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज द फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू डू इज अप्रोच अ इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकर व्हाई इज अ इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकर रिक्वायर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड आवर वैल्यूएशन to understand our valuation we will come with 1000 rupees ka share is it correct or wrong the investment banker will tell us i will understand the role of investment banker here sirf itna nahi hai aage bhi kaam karenge wo they are not finishing here they are doing their work ahead also but at the moment first stage first stage is this first stage is this when you appoint the investment banker they are going to help us in finding the application with sebi sebi that is securities exchange board of india when as a company i have want to get listed i have to apply to sebi so these guys will help me are you understanding these guys are going to help me now when we say like example whenever you want to take an admission in a college there is something which is called as a prospectus right what are the prospectus which has the details about the college right. which has the details about what the college say with different activities it can be like what is the setup of the college and all so what happens is there is a prospectus okay isko kehte hain pehle draft prospectus first the draft prospectus has to be submitted to sebi ओके उसको हम लोग ये भी बोलते हैं इज अ रेड हेरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ वी स्किप एनी ऑफ देम वी नॉट कम हियर इट इज अ प्रॉपर प्रोसीजर व्हिच वी हैव टू फॉलो ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ एसए विलेट फिक्स इनकम प्रोडक्ट्स राइट द प्रोसीजर इज मोर ऑर सेम फॉर फिक्स इनकम एज वेल एज शेयर्स सो When we are talking about the prospectus, let's say for a fixed income product like the debentures, I have to mention that is as a company where I have to mention what what rate of interest I am offering. What rate of interest I am offering? Why? Because SEBI has to know how much will be the offer given by me. Are you understanding? There are minute details which are checked by SEBI. when they are doing this part that is drafting part so it takes time it's not a overnight thing which is done drafting of the red herring prospectus takes time are you understanding this yes then what we have is now suppose let's take a very a company which is not known by you. like example tata technologies was known by you. so even if it didn't do this process you it will go ahead am i correct or wrong yes if i say a brand like netflix it is known to you but what if a company is not that much kind of uh, what do you say known in the public they generally go for road shows that doesn't mean they are on the road but when we talk about a road show it is basically inviting people to understand what the company is all about so these are generally like example yesterday we saw mutual funds mein the people like we saw insurance agent we saw investment advisors abhi you tell me company wants money money is dear can as say example if mukesh ambani wants jio to be listed this is already there will he come in your house and ask for that but what will he do he will say I have a set of people. Let's say we will approach, say SBI. आपके जो investment advisors हैं, उनको customers को बोल दो कि ये IPO आ रहा है. Am I right? So वो investment advisors के लिए what is important? Roadshow. So roadshow में we are inviting whom? Roadshow में we are inviting investors, that is potential investors. At the same time, we are also calling for all these. say intermediaries when i say the word intermediaries the middlemen like example you have the money 
I am the company, but we don't know each other. It will be through these brokers or through these investment advisors. We will be my money will sorry, your money will come to me and my share will go to you. Are you understanding this? Yes, is the importance of roadshow here? Sometimes roadshow are done to also understand this. That is the price. अगर मैं आपको invite करूँगा जानने के लिए कि क्या चल रहा है, what rate will be there and all, it can help me to understand the sentiments of the people. Sometimes road shows are pre also. Are you understanding this? Not necessary after everything is done. I will have a road show. Maybe it is possible further also. Are you getting it? Then we have this. That is launching of the IPO. Now when I say IPO launching, it means what? As a company, I have to see to it that, like example, now, there are a lot of people involved in this. So what is happening in this case, IPO launched the plan, so my forms have to be with whom? The intermediaries. And intermediaries the form is the form of the investors. How do you think about this today? Online. As per your online or at let's say older age mein, what was happening was we used to like example I had worked in the IPO so I know these things. What we used to do is the IPO let's say today is Friday, Monday ko IPO hai, Monday ko first day ke of the application. So by today we used to give the forms to the respective the investment advisors or uske pehle like let's say today's date is 20. Second, 26 को IPO आने वाला है। हम लोग को idea आता था 15 या 20 को। So we used to call our investment advisors and tell them कि आपके clients को बोलो ये आने वाला है। I'm talking about four, I'm talking about seven, eight years ago. At the moment, everything is through apps and all we get to know it. But I'm talking about old stages which were there. Okay, things have changed. So coming back, what we used to do was we used to tell them. कि ये आईपीओ आने वाला है प्लीज आप प्लीज नहीं बोलते थे ऑब्वियसली टेल योर दस वो विच अवर पीपल आर देयर अबाउट दिस थिंग दैट इज दिस आईपीओ इज कमिंग इज इट गुड बैड पैसा रेडी करने के बिकॉज़ कैसे होगा 23 को एप्लीकेशन जाएगा इन्वेस्टर से फॉर्म भर के लिए आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो दैट इज व्हाट लॉन्चिंग ऑफ द आईपीओस इज दैट क्लियर after launching of the IPO, forms are there very fast. There are some forms which are reject also. Incorrect details are there, applications. So rejection karke sometimes, now let's say Tata Technologies, the IPO which came right now. There are 1 lakh shares which Tata has offered, but there are 50 lakh applications. So what will Tata do? What will Tata do? It will reject. So, जिनको मिलता है, उनको कहते हैं allotment. जिनको नहीं मिलता है, उनको कहते हैं rejection. You understand what is allotment of the shares? So, जिनको मिलता है shares, उनको कहते हैं shares are allotted. तो उसको कहते हैं allotment. और जिनको नहीं मिलता है, उनको कहते हैं rejection. अभी इसमें एक rule change हो गया. Earlier, when I have to apply for an IPO, I have to give a check. Because cash में transaction होता नहीं। I have to give a check। अभी check से suppose this this is 15th of December, this is 15th of Jan। What is happening? एक महीने के लिए money is going from my account। Now tell me logically what will you do? You will ask for interest। The the people had to pay interest। That is the companies had to pay interest। because delay की तरफ से हुआ है company is fund का तो what did there is a system which is called as ASPA A S B A अभी ASPA के तू क्या होता है ASPA application करने बोलते हैं in ASPA so example ten thousand is the अभी lot है first thing is you don't buy one share in a IPO you have to buy a lot okay so let's say the price decided is five hundred per share and minimum आपको 20 shares का एक lot लेना है। How much the amount है? 10,000, 500 per share, 20 shares का एक lot, will it be 10,000? Yes. Yes. So 10,000 rupees are there in your bank account, which are blocked. 
they are seen in your bank account only mere paas nahi aaya but they are agar aapka allotment laga wo 10000 automatically deduct hoga agar allotment nahi laga your 10000 becomes open so that is called as aspa the application amount is getting blocked here it is in your bank account only but you can't touch that in so example bank account mein 50000 hai jisme se 10000 aspa mein hai to 40000 hi aap kharcha kar sakte agar application nahi mila to wo 10000 free ho jayega you understood the aspa application the benefit is what no loss the com- the company don't have to pay interest understood this case is this clear to everyone yes so uh, then allotment of shares ho gaya then yesterday i used two words primary and secondary market yes. so if the company is coming first time listing ho raha hai to usko kehte hain primary market bsc is a primary as well as secondary market nsc is a primary as well as secondary market because applications uh, the company is listed also there or sir trading the mapping are you getting it yes. is ipo process clear is ipo process clear yesterday you will remember those ticks may be we have to say i had said ipo process also there correct right? Just take one slide now, and we take a break. But don't take a bigger break because still we have to do shares and all. Uh, okay. Uh, so basically, most of the things are already done. Uh, most of the things are already done by me. Uh, this is from an individual's point of view. Okay, individual's point of view. Uh, first thing is we go back. First thing is what? Even though it is a step step three, this step very really important. Hai. Unless until you have a demat account, you cannot apply for shares. ये सब बाद में भी कर सकते हो. Step one very really important. Hai. What is step one? You need to have a demat account. How many have a demat account here? So if an IPO comes, you are losing an opportunity. Okay. Uh, so I have a demat and a trading account. डिसाइड कौन सा आईपीओ में इन्वेस्ट करना है कैसा इंपॉर्टेंट है देन अप्लाई फॉर द आईपीओ बिल्ड एज पर द साइज एंड दैट इज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू प्ले द वेटिंग गेम टू नो व्हेदर यू हैव गॉट अलॉटमेंट और नॉट आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस फेयर व्हेन गिव अ ब्रेक बिकॉज़ आफ्टर ब्रेक देन आई विल स्टार्ट विद द हाउ ट्रेडिंग टेक्स प्लेस इन द प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी मार्केट ओके not all there are some which are skip was
the market starts at 9.50. Okay, so E is the buyer, that guy is the seller. Keep these two things in mind. A is the buyer, okay. He said Tata Steel. He is interested to buy Tata Steel. Okay, so the stock opened today at 132 rupees. Example, the stock opened today at 131 rupees is there. Okay, now you are a buyer. What will be your price? 131 is the market price. As a buyer, you will look to buy at a lower price. <coughs> Correct or wrong? Seller. What will be the seller's price? More than 131. So, think in this way. Aapko ye trade execute karna hai. We see this changing in the price which is taking place. For this, there will be two different prices. One is a buyer's price and one is a seller's price. Okay. Now, in the older times, now as I said, we are moving towards another digital uh, things which are there. So, pehle kya hoga tha? Pehle, the brokers were very much busy. When I say brokers were very much busy, when we had to put an order and all, we used to continuously call the brokers. Market may catch up, right? what is going on, what price are going on. These days, we can watch it on our own. Right? This is money control app. We can see this, uh, there is one here. This is called as a market cap. Okay? I know it will not be visible at the back. Uh, this is called as a market cap. So when we say market cap, what does market cap refers to? There is two sides which are here. Okay? There are two sides here. What is the price going on right now? 133.65 And if you are buying price, just see these are the best five buys. So in the market, there are buyers. There are buyers who have put what price? 133.5560 okay? because it was 70. Okay? So 133.6055454540 like this. None of the buyer is keeping Price as 133.70. Have you understood? Now, you the quantity of the five one eight eight, one seven six two seven, one eight five seven zero. Ye eight buyer ka nahi hai. All of them, whoever has come till say one three three point four five, unka quantity. Are you understanding this part? Yes or no? This is not one buyer ka quantity. It can be like. All three of us together are looking for that same price. Are you getting it? Earlier, this was not possible. Now, because of the, uh, what do you say, lot of transparency and all which is taking place, we can see these things live. Where the broker go call with it. Look at the selling price. Look at the selling price. Selling price, if it updated, hoga. we can see 133.75, 133.8085. Sellers will always have what? Higher price. Are you getting it? Abhi, when we have to make this trade possible, when we have to make this trade possible as a buyer, I either do what? I decide my price or I go with the market. When I go with the market, that means what price I have to make? 133.60. My price is what? 133.30. Are you understanding this? Either I decide the market rate to buy. So when I decide the market rate to buy, I don't have, I don't have to stand in this line. However, if I decide 133.30, I will not be among the top 5 buyers. Are you understanding this? So it's like similar when you stand in the queue for a rickshaw. If you are the 5th person, first 4 will get the rickshaw first, then you will get it. Are you understanding this? If you want to be direct, you have to break the line. How will you break the line? Here, here, not in the rickshaw, here. By putting either the market price or else you are going to match with one of these prices here. That is the selling price. Are you understanding? Similarly, think as a seller. What is the seller doing? What is the seller going to do? First, let's say, if the seller ka price is 134, this price is 134, will he be able to execute the trade? No. But if he wants the trade to get executed, one idea is he reduces his selling price. He reduces his selling price 
or he also decides what market. the market price. You understood the word market price here. Is trading clear? How trading takes place at the back end? When both the buyer and the seller decide the price, then only a change will happen. Are you understanding? So that is called as equilibrium of the price. Equilibrium of the price, which has to be between whom? The buyer and the seller. So, आज अगर अभी ये trade executed हुआ है, अगर ये दोनों हैं, अभी suppose अभी ये वन दर, you can see it in time, right? It is continuously fluctuating. It is continuously fluctuating. I am not making any changes. So both my hands are here. This is happening on its own. You can see these changes taking place. So, what is happening in this case is, as the buyer and the seller, these the different buyers and the seller can be anyone here. This is now listed where if you see this is on BSE, NSE, you can this is NSE, NSE, National Stock Exchange, all over the country, all over the country the trade is taking place where the buyer and the seller are agreeing to a price and this is getting changed. You understand a new concept of trade, how it is getting thing. So if I go here, if I go here, placing the order हो गया, matching and share best price भी हो गया. Correct it. After the share is matched, then basically what will happen is order is executed. Now when I say order is executed, buyer has to do what? Make the payment. Seller has to do what? Securities has to transfer. Are you understanding? Security has to transfer. When I am saying security has to transfer, there is an issuance of a contract note. Contract. When I say contract means इनके नाम पे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट क्या आएगा आपने इतना आपको इतना पेमेंट कर रहा है जो जिसके अगेंस्ट सिक्योरिटीज विल गो देयर हैव यू अंडरस्टूड दिस सो दिस इज द रेगुलर प्रोसेस व्हिच इज देयर फर्स्ट इट इट जनरली गेट्स डन ऑन अ टी प्लस 2 बेसिस टुडे प्लस 2 वर्किंग डेज में ये एंड टू एंड काम होता है अभी क्या होगा इनके अगर ये बायर है इनके अकाउंट से पैसा इमीडिएटली जाता है बट इनके पास से यहाँ तक सिक्योरिटी आने के लिए दो दिन लगता है। You understood the trading process? Everyone understood the trading process? How is it? Basics, back end part. Now you will ask how it happens in apps. Apps में क्या हो रहा है? Apps में like example, whatever trades we are doing, the broker is only doing all this. App is a kind of a convenience platform by the broker for us. So backend work is all done by the broker. What are we doing? Just putting the order. Execution we do. Are you understanding this part? Is trading clear to all? Let's go ahead. Now something interesting. Uh, this is what we did. This is what I explained to you also right then. Some of the advice for you. Upcoming or trending stock for higher returns because that is going well. Same way now, if you are looking not for say higher returns but normal returns, GA, so these are the ones which are 12 months working stocks. Are you understanding 12 months working stock FMCG fast moving consumer goods? 12 months like ITC is there, Britannia is there. This will be throughout the 12 months they will be working. Pharmaceutical sector. Healthcare, they will give you what normal returns, whereas some may give you higher returns also. Like if I advise you guys, if you do this, you can buy 50 stocks, which are listed in which are very well there on the stock exchange. Uh, as I said, this thing I already covered with you, and I explained you the reason also for that. Okay, uh, one word I am asking you guys what is the multi value stock? Anyone has heard this concept multi value for those stock market people who trade multi value that they heard soon I come in M U L T I B A G G E R multi value. What is a multi value stock? A kata penny stock, a kata multi value stock. Uh, anyone knows that multi value stock? What is it? So it's like you have invested in a security at a very lower price. And now you have got very much big returns of that. Suppose when I have invested in a particular share, which has become say 100 right now. 
आफ्टर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वो मेरे लिए मल्टीप्लाई का शॉक है ऑन द अदर हैंड अगर मैंने एक दो रुपया किसी शॉक में पे किया था और वो अगर पचास रुपया हो गया तो उसको पेनी स्टॉक्स बोलते हैं पेनी स्टॉक्स इज व्हाट जहां पे इन्वेस्टमेंट कम है आप डाल के भूल जाओ वो स्टॉक को दैट इज पेनी स्टॉक्स मल्टीप्लाई का शॉक्स आर दोस व्हिच ग्रो ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई हैव एन एग्जांपल हियर buy monopoly stocks uh, yesterday i explained you monopoly what is there what is monopoly single that is single person is handling that industry that i gave you the example of ferry call yesterday okay there are some here there is a list of all of them like cdsn is there depository business then there is mcx which is there uh, this is also a good stock uh, there that is uh, it is into glass so you can see major percentages are there irctc you know that ye band hi hone wale hain that's a monopoly which is there there are close to 22 year cams is there mutual fund industry uh, so a lot lot of things ipc 77% in cigarettes so when i'm talking about monopoly stocks there is no competition so when there is no competition ye apne aap se band hone nahi wale hain are you understanding this these are not going to close so that means in these businesses long term is good for you okay long term is good for you um, then i talked about multi bagger this is an example of a multi bagger just see the brand name bajaj finance 2002 2023 patience very much important that is patience okay um, just see this part okay uh, let's go ahead these are future multi bagger stocks all this is educational purpose jindar se liya hai udhar bhi wahi likha hai not necessary matlab what i'm trying to say is just these are some of the examples which are there okay clear yes sir i said about this also trust of business yes trust of business i have said like which example i gave yesterday was valid yes so i have the same one here <coughs> i have the same one which is here ah uh, you know him right everyone knows him. you know this many companies are listed how many tata stocks are you have none why i have some of them but i am looking for more like i have this i have tata motors with me i have tata power with me i am tata power at purchase in uh, covid time double digit figures 20 rupees 30 rupees was a stock today it is into 200 300 that is the thing multi bagger for me simple but what i am trying to say is if if you are now you know this person you trust this person so if you want to buy go for it long term ke liye this is good okay so that is what the logic is some are not, not possible to be purchased they are very high also but jo maine aapko 100 rupaye wala logic diya tha usme abhi bhi chance hai that's what i'm trying to say the early you do it is better okay this is a slide for later on changes i'm just skipping it because This is for corporates point of view. आपको अभी taxation का डर नहीं है, because आपका उतना income नहीं है कि tax कर सकते हैं. But what I'm trying to say is there is two kinds of thing. Loss भी होता है, capital gain. तो capital uh, what do you say? Loss पे tax नहीं लगता है. Gain पे you have to pay taxes. We come to an analysis part. How to analyze a stock? And this is again going to be not working in your books. We will I'll show it on. Uh, actual stuff which is there so there are two analysis okay there are two analysis both analysis i will cover uh, you are fresh right not any break we go here so much so one analysis is called as fundamental analysis okay and one analysis we have is technical analysis both i will give you some insights and as a part of the credit points you have that right you will be doing something related to fundamental analysis okay all good so now that means more attention has to be given whatever we are doing it is related to your credit points also 
So next two concepts, at least three concepts, whichever I am doing right now, get out of your sleep if you are, because they are important from a credit counts under the project and all I will discuss at the end of the class. Okay. So coming back, fundamental analysis. Now, when yesterday I gave you one example, I said one name, late Akash Jitendra, ten rupees stock he used to buy. So. There is some price which is going on of the stock that is called as the market value. When I say the word market value, like if I just go here, this is the market value. What is the market basic definition? What is the market for its stocks? Buyer and sellers. So who is deciding the price? Buyer and seller. Is this price the perfect price? We don't know, but we can. How can we know when we use fundamental analysis? Are you understanding what am I trying to say? This price of the stock can be determined using an analysis which is called as fundamental analysis. Two analysis है. एक है fundamental analysis, एक है technical analysis. Fundamental analysis is from a long term point of view. Technical analysis is from a short term point of view. When we talk about fundamental analysis, we are going to do a extensive research. So jobs we have there in the market, mein, that is financial markets, mein jobs two kind of. One fundamental analyst's job is the fundamental research kind of job. One technical analyst's job. Okay. So fundamental analyst, fundamentals. Now when we say fundamentals. What are we doing is we are going to find the intrinsic value of the stock. When we say intrinsic, intrinsic refers to actual value of the stock. So when late Rakesh Junjunwala used to invest, he used to find first the intrinsic value of the stock and what he was supposed to do this part. He is matching it with what the market value. If intrinsic value is higher than the market value, he will invest in the stock. Why? Because he believed utna potential hai stock ka upar jaane ka. So, other if we come back here, sorry for skip going through these slides. So, if it is 133.55, हमने fundamental analysis किया and we get to know 150. Is the actual value of the stock, so we will buy the stock. That was Rakesh Junjunwala's time. Have you understood this part? What is there? Fundamental analysis. So what are we trying to do? We are first getting the figure, and we are match with what the market price. Because the basic conclusion is like this. The basic conclusion is like this. Under value, then we buy. Overvalued है तो sell या refrain from buying. तो ऐसे ही refrain from buying में तो क्या? Don't buy at all. आज अगर वो 120 मेरा value है, that is intrinsic value और actual market में 133 दिख रहा है. We better stay away. यहाँ पे हम लोग sell कर देते हैं. What is it trying to say? अगर 120 है तो stock कभी भी 120 तक पहुँच सकता है. Are you getting it? 150 है तो स्टॉक का पोटेंशियल है 150 तक पहुंचने का। सो वी आर मेकिंग आवर कॉल्स बेस्ड ऑन द इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू। तो नाउ इस एवरी टाइम समान में तो किमी है इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू? नो, वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट और वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू। कमिंग बैक टू फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस। Okay, bottom up approach we need to take a top down approach. So when we say a top down approach, like the FIIs who are investing in the country, FIIs, yesterday I told you about them, they are investing in the country. So, they have studied India that is as an economy or a country, which is the first thing which you do, that is macroeconomic factors. When I say macroeconomic factors, we are talking about economy. 
So Indian economy. Understood this? We are studying about the Indian economy. Industry. कौन से इंडस्ट्री में पोटेंशियल्स हैं? कौन से इंडस्ट्री में पोटेंशियल है? बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री, इट हैज पोटेंशियल। रियल एस्टेट, डज इट हैज अ पोटेंशियल? आईटी सेक्टर, इज हैविंग अ पोटेंशियल। दैट इज व्हाट दे हैव स्टडीड और दैट इज व्हाट अ फंडामेंटल लाइफ स्टडीज ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड। ओके? लाइक लेट्स से देयर इज अ पॉजिटिव मूवमेंट रिगार्डिंग द रबर इंडस्ट्री राइट। एग्जांपल there is a positive movement regarding rubber industry right now. Rubber, where is it used? Rubber. Yes. So you have C at you have Apollo. MRF chord. Let's see before MRF. Because uh, I am not at the moment I am teaching in KC College and not in Dhirubayamari International School. It is possible. Neither will I be that. So let's talk about C at or uh, that is uh, Apollo tires right now. Something there? Yes. What is the price? Are you checking that? MRF can have a good year. Okay. Okay. So coming back. Are you understood what did I say right now? ऐसे first thing what you have to observe is what which industry is doing well are you understanding so now the job profile which I said of a fundamental analyst तो what the what is the job profile is एक एक sector के लिए ना अलग अलग analyst होते हैं because ये sector को study करना बहुत time लगता है one fundamental analyst reports generate takes one to two months because we are giving a long term call and a long term call is what? Either buy or sell. Yahan pe koi prediction hi hai. Yahan pe we are talking about long term whether it should be bought or sold. But it has to be done in detail. Are you understanding this? Are you understanding what are we doing in top? That is the top up approach. First we are seeing the macroeconomic factor. So when I say macroeconomic, first the economy. So India is a good economy right now. Usme kaun si industries are doing well. फिर हम लोग ये भी गो फॉर व्हाट द कंपनीज सो एग्जांपल इफ द एस आई सेड द रबर इंडस्ट्री शोइंग वेल तो रबर के रिलेटेड स्टॉक्स वी कैन नाउ गो एंड चेक व्हिच इज बेटर हैव यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ वी हैव नैरोड इट समटाइम्स अ इंपैक्ट ऑफ अ न्यूज़ कैन आल्सो हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज गुड और बैड आल्सो सपोज अभी एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज बैड व्हाट कैन हैपन it, whatever is the raw materials or related to that can impact. Like, let's say paints right now. So paints के लिए जो raw material लगता है, अगर उसके imports पे there are restrictions, what can happen? Manufacturing will get stopped. So Asian paints will get affected. Fundamental call. Understood this? We are doing a complete research. Here. Are you understanding what is there? Now we come to this part also. That is a microeconomic factor. Macro is what I mean. Is it going fast or are you understanding? That is one to micro. Two slides ago, I showed you a face of a person. Management. Business policies. Right? I will show another face. I don't have it right now. Anil Ambani. If I show you Anil Ambani right now, what will happen? Hey, what I am trying to say is, quality business policies, quality management, more chance of risk. So, when we do a fundamental analysis, we also look at this aspect. Okay, how is the company, who are a part of the company, who are a part of a management and all. Because we are giving the money based on trust. Abhi, we trust data, return data, right or not? So, in their stocks, we said we are investing. But not necessarily everyone has the same trust. Got it? Or on every person, there will be the same. So, I hope now, when we talk about, let's go ahead. This is clear, right? Intrinsic value of the stock, macro and all. There is two analysis which are there. This part I have already covered. When I said all that factors. 
लाइक मैनेजमेंट को देखना है ये देखना है सो दैट इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज द क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस वी आर लुकिंग एट द क्वालिटेटिव पार्ट क्वांटिटेटिव पार्ट इज योर प्रोजेक्ट और बोथ इट कैन बी अ कॉमन रिपोर्ट आल्सो क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वांटिटेटिव बट मेजर फोकस इज दिस ओके नाउ व्हेन वी आर सेइंग क्वांटिटेटिव फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस these are some of the details these are some of the details which are important to understand okay like these are some of the ratios which are very much important to understand as a company which is there abhi i'll show you a website so abhi aap ko kya do you have to do all these calculations if you are in the job yes but for the project definitely yes but as an investor don't waste your time There are websites जहाँ पे ये data available होता है। आपको decision लेना है। Are you understanding what I'm trying to do? To understand this thing, you are learning from two points of view. One, you are learning from your credit points. One, you are going to learn from your lifetime. I want lifetime more. Credit points are okay. It's just a fee. That is marks which are there. Important, but very very important is lifetime. So try to get this seminar from a learning point of view for your life. Because I don't think so. Sir, any opportunity like this is going to come in future. Any opportunity like this is going to come in future for that. Yes, sir. Hope so. Sir, the same hope so. So let's see if we can do it. But technically, this is one call. Uh, you got an opportunity like this. Try to make the most of it. Ah, uh, come here. So coming back, ratios are important. These are all ratios. These are all financial ratios. As I said, if you start calculating while investing, it will take time. Because क्या होता है sometimes वो opportunity stock already ऊपर ही रहेगा. आपने कोई stock को twenty rupees में try place करना चालू कर दिया. You are checking it. By the time thirty तक भी stock चलेगा. दस रुपए का नुकसान. Time is money these days. Websites are available. Automatically check कर सकते हो. Criteria अपने देख. Are you understanding? ये ratios हैं, important ratios. अगर ये ratios check कर दिए, तो अपने आप से। I'll tell you the important or you say how to read these ratios also. So if you see here EPS increasing for the last five years. So I'll show it to you actual also. Data sheet that I will show you. Ah, uh, we whether the or the we are deciding whether to invest or not. We are deciding whether to invest or not. So let's say EPS. EPS is a factor. So when we say EPS as a factor, is the EPS continuously increasing or not? Now you will ask me what is the formula for EPS. So EPS refers to net profit after tax. N part will do so upon number of equity shares. I for I am not saying preference dividend because preference dividend what comes with that? I mean textbook me formula with that. N part minus preference dividend upon number of equity shares. Let's ignore preference dividend. N part upon num number of equity shares. एक बार बताओ. Company is coming for IPO. Can company every year increase the number of shares? Can company every year increase the number of shares? So what am I trying to say? Denominator is going to be constant. Are you understanding what I am trying to say? अगर कंपनी ने एक लाख शेयर्स इश्यू किए हैं, पांच साल के लिए सपोज एक लाख डिनोमिनेटर में है, तो क्या बढ़ना चाहिए? अगर दिस हैज टू चेंज, इफ ईपीएस हैज टू चेंज, ईपीएस हैज टू ग्रो, कंपनी हैज टू डू व्हाट? इंक्रीज द प्रॉफिट, व्हिच इज अ गुड साइन ऑफ द बिजनेस। सो इफ यू आर रीडिंग इट, ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इन दिस वे। हायर देन ईपीएस, इट इज बेटर। अगर दो कंपनीज को भी कंपेयर कर रहे हो बट हाउ विल यू कंपेयर डोंट कंपेयर एन एप्पल एंड एन ऑरेंज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज सीमेंट सेक्टर और बैंक एसबीआई और एसीसी सीमेंट्स को कंपेयर कर रहे हो ऐसा मत करो दोनों एक ही सेक्टर के चेक करो आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से देन यू कैन ट्राई एंड चेक किसका जीपीएस कैसा है ऑब्वियसली ईपीएस यू कैन नॉट कंपेयर बिटवीन टू टू कंपनीज EPS आपको एक कंपनी का ही देखना पड़ेगा, but वो एक कंपनी का पांच साल का परफॉर्मेंस है। In that five years you will understand whether EPS is increasing or decreasing or what is happening. 
as one of the parameter. Have you understood it? EPS? Is EPS clear? Like that, there are a lot of things which are there. PE ratio hai, so lower the PE is better. Then we are saying price to book value. Ye alag alag hai. Now, debt equity ratio. I'll show you shortcut method how we can do this. All these things we can do. There's a website through which we can do everything very good. That is there. I will show you the filters. But some ratios very much. See, when we do fundamental analysis, quantitative analysis, we are all going to use numbers. And when we say numbers, numbers are going to be calculated. So ratios are going to be used. Is that clear? Okay. Uh, these are the four ones. Remaining four are these. Like example, current ratio is there. Return on equity is there. So that's here. Return on equity should be greater than 20 percent. Certain criteria which are put. Other up, we will see it after this slide. I will just show you all these aspects in a website. How to do it and all. We can just check them. Current ratio here. So now your calls can be done based on this. Now one thing which I wanted to always people ask. When to enter the stock? And when to exit the stock? Any plans? Those who trade here. Who are trading? Again, raise your hands. Who are trading? It's okay. I'm not going to ask you. Uh, what I'm going to read it. Okay. When do you enter the stock? I see when the market price is down. Okay. Down. First, I see when the stock is taking like one day of profits, one day of profits. Okay. But the thing is, when the stock is down, then I buy it. Let's ask some more opinions on this because trading has a lot of other style. Yes, sir. Standard resistance level. Resistance level. He's talking about technical analysis, which I talk about the word resistance and support. Anyone else? Yes. You said about price. Anything else? Entry exit? No. Anyone else has any strategies? Entry exit? That's in three. That's in three. There is no timing as such. What I have to decide is, what I have to decide is, how much returns I want, how much returns I want, and then I should exit. Like example, I am buying a stock at say 50 rupees. My returns expected are 20 percent. मतलब कितना आना चाहिए? 10 rupees. So the moment the stock is 60, I should start exit. Which less people do. Therefore, I said entry and exit. There is a way entry exit for a point here. We will not feel for our matter. That he wants a stop by Kia. Hamne by Kia was Kia stop Uba Dara Kini Chedar were important. It is our trust also in that stop which matters. So the point is if we are talking about 50 rupees or 60 rupees, whatever is the price we enter, decide what, when will you start exiting. Or do you want to keep that stock lifelong? There are lifelong that are not good. There are some people who have kept certain stocks as lifelong with them. Like if you have MRF, you don't have to buy it. So they are lifelong stocks with them. You are not going to find people who are exiting also from certain stocks. Some people have emotional attachment with their stocks. Right or wrong? Antiques. Antiques. So people have emotional attachment with their stocks. That can also be. Some stocks are which are there. So like that will also happen. What I am trying to make you understand is simple technique, if you have to make money, long term, it will be good. Otherwise, at least decide the percentage returns which are looking at. Like I gave you 20%. If you have to exit 20%, then you have to do it. What happens is, you have to see 50 to 60 years, but the fall is going to be a chance. 60 to 65 is going to be 70 to 70. But then 55 is going to be a post. You start, what do you say, blaming everyone in that. It could be even the promoters, which are not doing anything. It is the market which is doing everything. We blame the promoter, they are both sure. But it is not that. It can be you also who have missed the rally which is there, or missed the point. Simple thing, now you will say, sir, but what if the stock is going up and down? If the stock is going up and down, I have lost the opportunity. But 
if you recollect just hours, one or one and a half hour ago, what did I say? By <coughs> number of shares, zaga le lo, to thoda thoda exit karna chalu karo, which is called as partial exit. Pura exit mat karo, partial exit karo. Agar thoda ho sakta hai to, you have the potential to earn money yet, but at least somewhat profit booking you are doing. Somewhat profit booking you are doing. How many are doing this strategy? How many are doing this strategy? Somewhat. So, new strategy for the traders, for the investors, and for everyone else also. Start doing it at least on one stop. I am not saying pure ka pura. You will be having your own plans also. If possible, start doing it on one stop and see whether you can get the difference or not. Thoda baat ye hoga. You may get a little bit of pain, but in long term it will go well. Okay. Uh, so coming back, as I said, we will just. So now. So there are different websites. Like Figure Tape is one of them. Uh, what we can do is, uh, we can do basically, we can uh, like example, we can check the stocks also which are there. Main thing is the filtration. Okay. Or there is one more website. Figure Tape we have to be specific. There is one thing which is called as screeners. Fundamental analysis tools. Okay. Now, if you can see, uh, this is now specific. Okay. We can select the company, or we can analyze a particular stock which is there. Or also, you have now this is trade ones. Certain are what you say. Certain trade things are also there. You can get different screens. Okay. Like when you see these screens, uh, you can see sector wise there. At the same time, you can see different, uh, what do you say, different uh, kind of calculations, like loss or loss to profit making companies. Yeah, other criteria are there. Are you getting it? Low PE, like low PE, I am seeing, or high. We saw this criteria was what? High growth, that is high ROE, return on equity. Maine bola tha. Yes, and they are saying low P. So, ye two combination ek saath kiye ho. Are you getting it? So, like that, you can do the filterations also. Now it is not a free website as such. Don't want to log in and all. But I'm just saying it. These are. This is one of the website which can be used. You can have your phone access and you can check it. So even you can check here. Okay. Only thing what will happen is you will not be able to screen the data. But money control itself has it. Right now we Tata Steel are in. Tata Steel are in. So if you use, how many of you have used money control entirely? Entirely. हम लोग मनी कंट्रोल इधर तक ही देखते हैं हम लोग मनी कंट्रोल इधर तक ही देखते हैं हम लोग नीचे जाते नहीं इसके लिए बोला एंटायर सो इफ यू सी हियर ये सारे ट्राई लोग के ये है दैट इज दे हैव गिवन सर्टेन थिंग्स हियर सो इफ यू सी नाउ ये रेश अभी रेशोस लाइक व्हिच रेशियो यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ईपीएस सो डू यू हैव ईपीएस रेशियो हियर we have EPS ratio here. We have it for five years. You have a mobile phone app. You can see it. You can see it. Decision can be done. All the same criteria are there. Dividend, that is book value is also given. Now, uh, so what am I trying to say you here? That information is already there with you. You have only now to take a decision. But that is right time. Project can be done. Okay, project के लिए काम करना है. Information is already there with you. These are ratios. अभी जैसे ratios हैं, अलग-अलग ratios you can see. You can see uh, like debt equity ratio बोला था. There was debt equity ratio. So you can see that debt equity कैसा है. 
It is now if you are to predict, what are you predicting here? Or what you can see here, like this to this is one down, this is coming up. Debt equity ratio means either debt is increasing, which is loan is increasing, or equity is decreasing. कभी कभार लोन डिक्रीज भी होता है उसके लिए आपको कंपनी का बैलेंस शीट पढ़ना इंपॉर्टेंट है लाइक दिस इज व्हाट अ बैलेंस शीट इज सो यू कैन चेक दिस आप सो व्हेन आई एम सेइंग मनी कंट्रोल फोन में काफी कम एक्सेस मिलता है एक्चुअल अगर हम लोग ऐसे व्यू करें ऑन डेस्कटॉप इट इज मच बेटर इवन टेक्निकल एनालिसिस के आल्सो मनी कंट्रोल इज यूज्ड दीस वेबसाइट्स आई हैव वन व्हाट यू से वन ऑफ द स्लाइड हैज ऑल द वेबसाइट व्हिच आर देयर आई एम शोइंग टू यू देयर That website has all the things uh, which are there. So what you can observe is now example share capital. What you can observe here, share capital is it constant? There is a bit change. On the other hand, look at the uh, we see example the reserves or the surplus. So last year when we saw Tata Steel, उसका ये कम हुआ है. That is reserves have gone down. Where have they used the funds? This is the thing. This is how your analysis should be. Are you understanding this? Uh, coming back, you have something which is also other. आप ये आप जाओगे तो ना सी दिस दिस इज़ अ रेकमेंडेशन विच इज़ गिवन. So more or less you need to use the website properly which is there. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to also to show you is. Uh, Now, we can see so many tabs here. Right? One of the important tabs is this, which is called as peers. Now, when I say peers, means what? Competitors. अगर आपको decide करना है, you can check with the competitors what is going on. What are they? What do you have? What? Which is the important criteria in that? It can be this. That is a debt to equity. Are you understanding it? It can be this return on equity. It can be the profit to book margin which is there. Are, are you understanding these criteria? Now you want to decide whether this stock is good or bad. We can help you out. It is in the industry which is there. Um, look, we can use this as also one of the parameters. Like example, if I say Tata Steel. टाटा स्टील और जीएसडब्ल्यू स्टील को कंपेयर करते हैं डेट इक्विटी रेशियो किसका अच्छा है टाटा सिंपल देन इफ यू सी इंडाल को बेटर देन टाटा आल्सो बट देन व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज दिस पार्ट जस्ट सी द मार्केट कैप व्हिच इज देयर सो अभी अगर आप देखोगे काफी क्राइटेरियाज रहते हैं टू डिसाइड whether we want to invest in the stock or not are you understanding it's not only price There are lot of factors which we consider when we do like fundamental analysis, which is there. Is it understood what is to be done? So in your report, example, what you will do is you will pick up say Indian economy के बारे में how is it going, what is there. Then at the same time a particular sector you will choose and a company जिसके figures already है. I am not telling you to refer numbers, but I want you to take a call. Based on these two slides which are there, ये सब आपको चेक करना है. Eight parameters. Are you getting it? These four, these four, ये together इधर थे. So these three slides जो अभी मैंने बोला was one part of your credit points. Is that clear to everyone? Yes. Again, every investor should know these ratios. EPS में already बोल दिया था net profit upon preference dividend return on capital ROA है ROE है all these are so indicate so example ROE returns how much should be your returns your returns should always be higher if your returns are higher then only that means the stock is doing well return on equity why who are you guys equity shareholders Who are you guys? Equity shareholders. So, आप लोगों के लिए ये figure important है कि is it doing well or not? Are you understanding this part? 
Yes, clear. Is fundamental analysis clear? Fundamental analysis in itself is a big course. We are touching it. It's itself in a big course. Both kaafi valuation or all sab hai. But at the moment, it is like we are touching certain parts which are. Is it clear? Can we go ahead? Yes, everyone understood. Now comes technical analysis. Uh, technical analysis is a short term thing. Okay. Fundamental analysis बनने के लिए एक महीना दो महीने का report it takes time. Technical analysis short term because in technical analysis we are just using price. बाकी कुछ factors को देखना नहीं है. Technical analysis हम लोग just एक price का price देते हैं and price is nothing but what demand supply. वो भी मैंने आपको explain किया था अभी. Correct. So in technical analysis we are just considering price. As a major factor. अभी उसमें हम लोग ये नहीं देखेंगे कि रटन डाटा इस तो ओनर या वीरू या ओके शंपानी इस तो ओनर। We are just considering price as the factor. Is that clear? So that means now tell me technical call पटा पटा है। Will it be faster one? Yes, because we have to just consider the word price. Okay, short term trades. Is that clear? Now certain assumptions. Now when I say we don't know what is Mukesh Ambani. We don't know which is what is Anil Ambani here. Is this one? Have you understood market discounts everything? By actually price को देख रहे हैं. Are you looking who's the promoter or that? You will look in a fundamental call, not in a technical call. First point here. Yes. What is it saying? Price moves in a trend. So just coming here. These are the trends. I'll go back to that slide again. Trend मतलब कोई कोई stock up trend में रहता है। Like example, I gave you that Tata power वाला example. In that period of time, that is during the COVID time, electricity stocks, IT stocks were in the up trend part. After that, there may be a down trend also possible. Or there is a no trend बोलते हैं, इसको sideway trends बोलते हैं। So this is now एक दिन एक चीज हमेशा याद रखो, stock market में कोई भी stock every day ऊपर नहीं जाता। there is a chance of this thing happening. Sorry. Have you understood what is what am I trying to say? Each day is not a day where the stock will that stock will go up. Out of the five trading sessions, that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, two days niche bhi reh sakta hai. Ya teen din bhi niche reh sakta hai. That is also very much important to know. Okay. So when we are talking about price moves in trend is clear. Now history repeats itself. When I say this, what I am trying to say is, जो stock ऊपर गया है और अपने नीचे आया है, वो वापस भी ऊपर जाएगा. Okay, वो वापस भी ऊपर जाएगा. You want examples? There are lot. There are lot of examples in this case. Like in the COVID time, recent example लो. COVID, COVID. Let's forget that. We talk about Adani Enterprise. Where was it? And where is it now? Is it happening that it is going up? Is the chance of stock going down again? I don't think so. That much it will go down. Correction हो सकता है, but इतना correction नहीं आएगा जैसे report के वजह से हुआ है. Are you understanding this part? So what are we using in technical analysis? We are we are using now. Someone said these two words, right? And I said I will talk about it later. So when he is that person is investing, he is set the resistance point. So ये दो चीजों को याद रखना है। एक रहता है resistance, एक रहता है support. If you see this line, ये कौन सा side दिख रहा है? Upper side. When we say support, it is what? Lower side. So if I give you the resistance and the support of a stock. Resistance is 500, support is 300, stock is at 380. What is your call? Yes, resistance. What will be your call? Buy. Buy, correct. Because stock has the potential to reach 500. We are closer to that. 
देयरफॉर रेजिस्टेंस इज इंपॉर्टेंट कौन से लेवल का है वो भी देखना है अगर 380 पे आप इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हो 500 तक जाएगा बट वही चीज 450 एंड रेजिस्टेंस इज 500 डू यू सी व्हाई नो सो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से हियर इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रेजिस्टेंस एंड सपोर्ट आल्सो व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट व्हाट आर द लेवल्स ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एंड सपोर्ट आल्सो बी Sometimes we can take a call कि ये चीज अभी if I say 200 is the support और अगर अभी 280 पे आया let's not wait for the stock to come at 200 and then exit are you understanding this अगर 280 दिख रहा है और नीचे ही जाने वाला है अभी sell कर दो that is also important so both these resistance and support is clear yes uh, how will so main thing is we can draw it and check it also There is a website which is called as investing.com, जिसमें आप खुद ड्रॉ करके चेक कर सकते हैं, ओके? Then there are like techniques, जिसको हम लोग कहते हैं OHLC of a stock, open price, high price, low price, close price. 9:15 the market starts, 3:30 the market ends. अगर अभी आप यहाँ पे भी जाओगे What do you observe is uh, here? Uh, what I wanted to show you is the open price, high price, low price, and the close price of the stock. So 9:15 the market starts. 9:15 the market starts. So there is something which is called as the open price of the stock. So यहाँ पे ये सब दिख जाता है आपको. That is opening was 9:45. Oh, that is there. Throughout the day, the low of the stock was this 9:06. High of the stock is 9:59. Close of the stock is 910. So you can see throughout the day what has happened with the stock. So this is also an indicator to understand where can the movement be of the stock. Are you understanding this OHLC? Open, high, low, and the close. Then we have something which is also called as the We have these patterns, charts, and all. Also, again, technical analysis in itself is a complete subject. Uh, no, we are not done. <laughs> so, when we do technical analysis. We use something like this. There are colors. So there are colors. This one, look. Uh, we see it as green and red. Which is green is a color to buy. Red is a color to sell. There is white and black also. The Japanese people use white and black. We are following the this concept. That is, this is the trend. Whether it's a bull or a bear. These two words are there. Bull and bear. Bullish means what? Buy. So the market is going up. For the seller, bullish is what? नीचे जाना। So for the seller, bearish is when the markets are going to go up or down. Think you are a seller. आपके लिए bullish कब होगा? आज अगर आपने बेचा और कल वो stock नीचे जाएगा, तो आपके लिए क्या है? Profit. That is bullish for you. Right or wrong? On the other hand, अगर ऊपर जा रहा है तो आपके लिए नुकसान है। Buyer के लिए कैसा है? बायर के लिए कैसा है? आज अगर खरीदा और कल अगर वो ऊपर जा रहा है, तो it is bullish for you. You understood this? Derivatives में काम में आने वाला है. The next model which we are doing right now is important because that is a part of your project. Okay? Uh, so these are all different techniques here. As I said, there is a lot of analysis required in a technical analysis. टेक्निकल एनालिसिस में भी कैसा है 10 कॉल्स देयर इज अ हिट रेशियो व्हेन आई से हिट रेशियो मींस सपोज नाउ ही डिसाइड्स 10 कॉल्स 
or a technical analysis, all thus far may not work. Maybe three, four, five, six technical analysis. Analyst ka hit ratio important hai. Seven or eight calls are good enough. Okay, seven or eight calls are good enough. You have some project going on there. Excuse me. So these are different patterns which are there. Some of them, as we said, Japanese have invent have these technical analysis details. They are names are there. So uh, you have these engulfing. Uh, that is engulfing is there. Uh, the cover hanging hammer. All these are different techniques. Okay, it takes a lot of time to understand that. So we will do what is uh, important for you. This is RSI also. All this okay. Now certain things we can do it using what is the that is using data. That is where data science comes into play. Okay, so like your RSI, your all these uh, concepts which are there, you you can do it use it because data involvement is not technical analysis. Me, two things are there. One, we see price dekhte, by using these patterns and all. These patterns we can do it. But we can do it like other people. We can we can just go here. So they also have caps. They also have a. Uh, they also have a. This is the overall idea. They have money control, technical analysis part. Okay. So you can observe a stock. So let's say example. Abhi, uh, we can talk about say simple moving average. Simple moving average is there. There is exponential moving average. Ye all these is data. And when we say data, that means data science. Okay, a lot of data is there. How can you get it simple? Hai? NSE ke website pe jao, wahan pe historic data milta hai. There are a lot of concepts which are there in data science on what you say kind of advanced level. Like uh, I remember I have taught them how to calculate the bar of a stock, value at risk that is there in derivatives. All of that was there. Implied volatility. A lot of things are there. Basically, at this moment I'm not talking about that much in detail. Because that's another thing which is there, but data science is useful in all these parameters. Okay, we don't want to go into this. We can have a lot of things. Our well, valuations is a lot. Getting it? What is here? Okay. We are going now to the next uh, topic, most important topic. Uh, again, part of your project. How many know what is a derivative? Don't don't talk about maths right now. Not that derivative. Now the derivative is again. Please pay attention to this very much important concept in terms of derivatives. We are almost there. This is the last topic. And a bit of crypto. Five minutes only on crypto. I will talk because it is evening. <laughs> <laughs> so just because I committed you crypto last note, it is very important. Hai. So then only Harsh will allow me to go. So I will talk five minutes only on crypto, but the important that is derivatives. Okay. Uh, yes. What is derivatives? In this case, is there is a value of an underlying asset. Okay. Now when I say underlying asset, simple example, take it. See that. Let us consider one example for derivatives. So there is a cash market. जो हम लोग ने अभी देखा था ना पहले. That was a cash market. You also equity market we both there. And there is a derivatives market. So cash market ka base li hai and derivatives market chali hai. So what I am trying to say is, agar abhi yaan pe, you are observing one share is of 2000. So that is in the cash market. And derivatives me bol rahe hai, 10 shares. Ye jo 10 shares hai, ye yaan ke. Are you understanding this? ये दस शेयर अलग से क्रिएट नहीं किए फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट सो कीप दिस इन माइंड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेरिवेटिव्स मार्केट इट इज यूजिंग दी अंडरलाइंग एसेट्स व्हिच आर ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट सो व्हेन आई से ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट दे आर दीस शेयर्स करेंसी इंटरेस्ट और इवन इंडेक्स दोस हु ट्रेड फ्यूचर्स एंड ऑप्शंस एनीवन ट्रेड्स हियर फ्यूचर्स एंड ऑप्शंस So, uh, so there is. They will be fifty there. Uh, 
So, uh, basically, when we talk about derivatives, first thing, first thing, just try to understand whether derivatives is applicable for all of us or not. Okay. Now, uh, let's try and understand the working of a derivative. Okay. Let's try and understand the working of a derivative. Now, this is an example. Hai. Price of reliance is how much? 2000 in the cash market. So, I am explaining you the same concept. 2000 rupees are invested. You have to get a share. Milte. Derivative is a lot. Bolte. Okay. Derivative is a lot. This is the number of shares are 10. Now, you have to get if I want to buy 10 shares in the market, how much I have to spend? 20,000. 20, but if I am derivative trading, then I will get 1 lot 2,000 plus certain amount. This is called a premium. So we are getting something which is at a premium. So 2050 example, I get a derivative contract. Mein milta hai. Okay, easy. It looks easy, right? It looks possible. Say 2050. The catch here is, I have to keep something which is called as margin. यहाँ पे 2000 में I can enter. यहाँ पे 2000 की मुझको और इसका margin भी रखना पड़ता है. And that margin can be equal to 2000 into 10, 20,000 also. इसके लिए derivatives में हर कोई trade नहीं करता. Are you understanding? Because there is a margin requirement. Because this lot size can be different. It's not a uniform lot size. There are shares in a lot of 500 also. There are shares in a lot of 100 also. Allah Allah hai, to unke price ke sab se uska margin hai. Therefore, when we want to start derivatives trading, margin is important. So, one flaw is margin. There are others also. But then, it could be a good, what you say, opportunity to make quick money which is there. Okay? Uh, let's understand the working. Let's understand the working. So what I have done is, I have put different prices here. These are prices of the stock market. That stock market, that is Reliance as a stock. What was your purchase price? 2000. What was your purchase price? 2000. So here, what do you observe? 50 rupees profit. Here, what do you observe? 500 rupees profit. One share. Ka. Derivatives may one cheese a lot may the shares the profit is five thousand. Very good, right? Very good. Upper dekho. Upper dekho. So one zero other bhi bade gaya. Agar yahan pe one zero bade gaya, to yahan pe bhi one zero bade gaya. So what what is happening? If profit is calculated based on one share. Losses are also calculated based on all the shares. Are you understanding? Profit ke lega sub shares liye, to losses are also calculated on all the shares. Iska kya hoga? What happens because of this? Risk. Risk is very high. Not high, I can say it is very high. Okay. We, uh, when you are entering into a derivatives contract, or even a called trade rai ka baat karne ka, intraday contract, it is Apna mind has to be completely in the market. And there is a lot of tension going on. Sir, how much is the tension? If you go to the top of the it becomes a very thing which are there. I am not saying don't do it. But if you can have that much, what do you say? Money, risk bearing capacity, go to derivatives. Mein ja. No doubt there is, you can make money also in a quick period of time. Just an example, here. look at it. Look at fast fast. If you can, you have invest here. Okay, say two lots I have bought. Two lots I have bought at 2000. If it becomes 2010, so how much is my profit? One lot may, kitna kama hai? 10 into 10, 100. So, we equity may, 10 rupee kama hai. Are you understanding this? But only thing what is there is, loss may also we need to be there. Okay, now we have certain. There is something which is called as options. Okay. So there is a call option. There is a put option which is there. Okay. So call option. Now, two words, buyer and a seller. Okay. Two words, buyer and a seller. You are a buyer, correct? When you go to a shop, tell me 
you have a right to buy something, right? Well, uh, you can buy that thing. Is it an obligation to buy? Okay. Are you obliged always to buy? No. Same thing happens in this market also. If you are a buyer. Seller. What is the seller doing? He is selling. So he has a right to sell. At the same time, he has a obligation to sell. अगर कोई बायर अगर आप जाते हो दुकान में खरीदने के लिए ही हैज टू सेल इट टू यू कैन ही से नहीं मेरे को आपको बेचना नहीं है सो दैट इज व्हाट आई से द वर्ड ऑब्लिगेशन टू सेल अंडरस्टूड दीस टू वर्ड्स विल बी यूजफुल इन द स्ट्रेटजीज व्हिच यू आर डूइंग नाउ दैट इज डेरिवेटिव स्ट्रेटजीज ओके सो आई एम सो देयर आर 22 स्ट्रेटजीज आई एम नॉट डूइंग ऑल आई विल शो इट टू यू हियर अह This is a NSE ka derivatives ka course hai. There are in all we can see twenty two strategies. We are not doing all, but I am at least teaching you basics like what is a long call, short call in simple terms. Okay, I will do some of them. These few of them I will be doing. Um, I know that whoever I have taught them, it makes. You need to be attention here. Okay, next 15-20 minutes at least. Don't do anything. Pay attention. This will be. A, this is definitely a part of your project. Okay. For this, there are credit points. This will definitely. This is going to be there. So pay attention. This is where I will have to grab your attention. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll directly use a. We just refer to which one which one. Like first is a long call. Okay, now some time ago I had to use the word bullish and bearish. Mm -hmm. Correct. These two words we will be interchanging. These two words we will be using very often right now. Keep again. Once again, bullish means what? Buying. Buying. Bullish means Buying. Buying. markets going up for the buyer. Buying. Bullish means for the seller Buying. going down. Buying. Markets going Buying. down. down. Reverse is bearish, okay? Because calls, that is whatever are the option strategies, will be coming through this. So, like the first strategy which is there, long call. You are call option is from the buyer's point of view. Call option is from the buyer's point of view. Now, I said something. Buyer has the right to buy. Buyer does not have the obligation to buy. एक चीज और बोला था. क्या बोला था अभी? आपको प्रीमियम पे करना है करेक्ट है तो क्या होता है वेनेबल राइट like, uh, ये ट्रेड करना है दैट इज इफ आई वांट टू डू दिस ट्रेड इफ आई वांट टू डू दिस ट्रेड तो आई हैव टू स्टार्ट बाय पेइंग अ प्रीमियम आई हैव टू स्टार्ट बाय पेइंग अ प्रीमियम सो लेट्स से इन दिस केस प्रीमियम इज 50 रुपीस ओके इन दिस केस प्रीमियम इज 50 रुपीस Why am I entering into this contract? Because according to me, ये होने वाला है. According to me, ये होने वाला है. मैंने सही ये होने वाला है मतलब क्या? Price is expected to go up. So what am I saying? Say suppose I am entering into a derivative contract with him. So I am paying him the premium upfront. That is say fifty rupees to book that contract. Okay. Two thousand way I have booked the contract. Have you understood this? What is a profit to me? What will be the profit to me? कल अगर 2200 हुआ in the market, मैं इसके पास पहले जाऊँगा और बोलूँगा कि 2000 में contract कर दो. Contract means what? Two parties. Contract means a commitment. I am a buyer. He is what? Seller. So if I go to him and say मेरा right है buy करने का. He has to oblige that to sell. Does he have to oblige it to sell? Yes. Simple. Are you understanding? Now tell me what is happening in this case. Who is making a profit? Buyer is making a profit. How did the buyer make a profit? अगर वो चीज हम लोगों ने डिसाइड किया है, two thousand, two thousand, right or wrong? If अगर वो मार्केट में two thousand five hundred में अवेलेबल होता है. I am not paying that 500 extra. That is what is long call. 
You have to show the long call. Yes, if we use this same data here, you will observe the same. Therefore, like I said, teachers pay attention. You will pick up fast if you understand the basics. So, you are talking about long call here. So, long call, as I said, you are bullish. Okay, long call means you are bullish. So, when I say bullish, I'm coming back. What if, first side, what did I say? Market price is up. So, 2000 wala stock, abhi kitna bana? 2500. So, I have passed it and I have told that 2000 mein wo stock is up. I have paid it and I have paid it and I have paid it. Right or wrong? I first paid in what? The premium. So, when I paid in the premium, I have booked that contract with it. Okay? Suppose, market may same thing becomes available at 1800. So, are you mad to pay in 2000? You will go to What you had? You had a right to buy. You are not obliged to buy. What time pay? You are not going only to him. Are you understood what did I say right now? आप उसके पास कब जाओगे? When the market is going up. जब भी market नीचे जा रहा है, या वो same चीज से डेढ़ हजार में मिलने वाली है, will you go to that person? तो आपके लिए loss कितना हुआ? Fifty rupees which you paid. What was that fifty rupees? Premium. Now read this. Reward is unlimited. Risk is what? Limited to the premium. इसका calculation यहाँ पे देखिए। इसका calculation यहाँ पे। So आपके लिए total cost जैसे मैंने आपको बोला था ना, 2000 plus 50 will be the cost. That is 2050 is your cost. तो अगर market में वो 2200 में हुआ, तो आपका profit कितना हुआ? 150. How did you do that? 2000 200 minus 2050. Correct है। वही चीज अगर 1600 में हुआ तो, वही चीज अगर 1600 हुआ तो आपके लिए loss कितना है? No, it's not 400. It's only 50. क्योंकि आप उधर जाने ही नहीं वाले हो। आप उधर जाने ही नहीं वाले हो। अभी एक चीज यहाँ पे numbers देखो। What are the numbers? 4600. What is your premium? 36. ये नंबर याद रखना 36.35 and see this here where is the market for 4100 what was the price you had committed 4600 did I say the same right now did I say same with another example if it is 4100 will you buy 4600 so what is your loss Premium. What is your premium? 36. 36. If you have 5,000, that is 5,300, how much is your profit? How it is there? The difference. Understood the first strategy. Long call is understood. Short call is opposite. What? Long means what? You are bullish, right? Just look at short call. Is the first strategy clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Look at short call. When we say short call, it is bearish. Ulta karna hai. Abhi you just have to imagine in the opposite way. Simple. If you imagine that, two strategies already ho gaya. That is long call and the short call. Long call clear as a form? Anyone has a doubt? Anyone has a doubt? What will be short call now? Opposite. If profit was, if profit was unlimited in the long call, Profit is limited in the short term. If what you say the risk was risk was limited in the long call, here unlimited. Again, let's use the numbers. I think you will be better in understanding with numbers. You are bearish about the market. Okay? You are bearish about the market means you are this is your expectation, right? Is that in your control? So how will you make a loss here? Tell me. If the market shoots up. For you, loss will be on your life. For you, loss will be on your life. If the market goes above 2600. Okay? Again, use the numbers. 
यूज द नंबर्स चेक कर लो इफ वो 3000 में हुआ आपका लॉस कैसे हुआ है एनीवन टेल मी इफ वो 3000 में हुआ है तो आपका लॉस कैसे हुआ है कैन एनीवन टेल मी बिकॉज़ वी बॉट एट 2600 सोल्ड वी हैव वी सोल्ड करेक्ट और शॉर्ट कर रहे हैं ना वी सोल्ड राइट सो अपने को लॉस हुआ है खाली अपने को ये थोड़ा ये मिला दैट इज प्रीमियम व्हिच इज देयर आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर प्रीमियम वाज हाउ मच हियर 154 profit is limited to the premium when will you get the premium when you are selling to so, abhi ye cheez mein kehna hai se agar humne kisi ko bola tha ki aap se what was the price we had said 2600 correct hai agar market mein 2000 hua to wo aayega aapke paas nahi aayega na aap se aapne usse kya liya hai Premium, so that premium is your profit. Do you agree? Do you agree? What did I explain right now? Simple, simple. On the other end, if the market goes up, then what will happen? What will happen? What will happen? Correct. What will happen? If it is three thousand, then will it come to you? At what price you are going to sell it? Two thousand six hundred. Four hundred's loss will happen. If there is a premium minus, then still you are in loss. Understood? Yes. 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 If three thousand five hundred गया तो, if three thousand five hundred गया तो, आपका loss है nine hundred minus premium. Have you understood this? Long call, short call clear? Yes. Now, now uh, we come to put first, so that it is easier. Four strategies which are there, and then the combination. Now long put. What did I say right now? Sell now. Call options are from buyer's point of view. Put option are from seller's point of view. So what will be a long put? What is the in? What is the seller thinking? The markets are going to go down. Keep this in mind. Okay. The markets are expected to go down. So investor is bearish. Okay. Risk again. Reward is unlimited. When will you earn a reward here? Market goes down. When the market actually goes down. Simple. When will there be a loss for you? When it goes up. Correct. यहाँ पे आपको premium. Are you going to pay? Initially, if you are buying a put option, you will pay the premium. If you are selling the put option, ये चीज़ याद रहेगा ना? Buy करते हैं तो premium, pay करना है. Sell करते हैं तो premium. आने वाला है, ओके? आ, so now here, tell me what has happened. You guys tell me. You guys tell me what has happened. Limited profit है, unlimited loss है. How is there an unlimited? Sorry, ऐसे रखो सिर्फ. Limited loss है, unlimited profit है. How is there an unlimited profit? What has happened at 2000? Okay, 2300 क्या ये मैं explain की? At 2,300, what has happened? How am I making a profit? <coughs> the market went in my favor, right? Yes. I sold it. Or sorry, I had bought it at that price, correct? Right? And only thing is the premium is there, correct? Right? So is long put clear now? Huh? Why is it getting clear for you? Is first two strategies you understood them. Other long call, samjhaay. So long put is completely just the opposite of that. Correct? Hai? Yes or no? Think in this way. अगर मैं long call करूँगा तो ये वाला बढ़ेगा. Correct? Hai? It is just the same. Just it is the opposite. Just check. Just check and tell me. Long call में आपने उल्टा देखा था. नीचे का सब बढ़ रहा था. ऊपर का constant था. यहाँ पे if I put now यहाँ पे 2000 डालता हूँ मैं. तो 2000 डालूँगा तो 2600 minus 2000. 600 का मेरा profit है. Premium मैंने pay किया 52. Remaining is my profit. Is it clear? Yes. This is which option? This is which option? Put option. Which strategy? Long put. Short put will be what? Vice versa. Vice versa. Perfect. Short put में क्या हो रहा है? Now I am bullish and I am a seller. 
Now I am bullish about the market and I am the seller. Why? When will I make a loss? When the market goes down. Again, what do you see in this? Limited profit, unlimited loss. Tell me why it is a limited profit. Tell me why. Now think again. One simple example, you are a seller here, market has gone down, can you sell at a premium rate? My, I think you have understood that. If you, if you understood the reason for a loss, what did I explain this statement to you? So, you have to understand this strategy. Okay, you are a seller, you have the price quote here from 3,000, but in today's market, it is 2,000. You have to sell it at 2000. You have to sell it at 2000. Because again, you are what? Seller. Seller ke ke paas kya hai? Obligation to sell. So, koi buyer aya, to aapko dena hi padega. Iske liya aapka loss hota hai. On, and tell me on this part, agar ye 4500 hua, to why premium is only your profit? Because we have already committed to sell it 3000. If you have already committed that, that means you have not seen anything. What do you think? You have taken the premium from someone, correct or wrong? So, you are the buyer. I am selling it to you. You are the buyer. If you have paid the premium, then what will happen? You won't come. I won't come. You won't come to me, right? Will you come to me to buy it this day? Simple. Am I? Are you understanding this? Keep this only in mind. Your strategy is clear. Okay. Now, uh, there is a combination which we use. Okay. There is a combination which we use. Now, Ek aisa rata hai market, jahan I am completely sure. Okay. Ek aisa rata hai market, jahan pe I am completely sure. Which was, I was completely bullish. But now, I am moderately bullish. Word change okay. I am neutral. But I am moderately bearish. So, in this case, we use hedging. Use so, when I say hedging, like there are certain strategies, I am going to come to it later. So, this is a hedging strategy. Two things together. Two things together. So, you are buying a stock and you are buying a put, which is called as a synthetic long call. What was long call? Recap, what was long call? Limited loss, unlimited profit. So you are creating one. When we say synthetic, yes, second last, last bench. I know it is late, but as a part of a project, you are coming. So bear me for another 10 minutes. 10 minutes commitment, I will be done. Can I? So, coming back, you are buying a stock and you are buying a put option also. So, now what are you seeing in diagrams? If it is coming this way. Markets. 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 Prices. If I have to draw this, how do you think so the diagram is? Jitna it is going this way. Jitna it will go this way is my profit. Are you understanding? If we draw this, now this was a put option which is there. Uh, when we draw it on a number line, what will you observe in terms of a number? Tell me number line, how do you observe this? The more it goes far, you are seeing what? The more, if this number line is coming from left to right, so the more it is less, the more it is less. Profit is less. And the more it is less, the more it is less. Loss is limited. Now let's use some numbers. Okay. This is the only you, I understand you two parts. Okay, first check the values. What are the values? Current market price is 4000. Uh, if you buy the stock, when will you make a profit? Above 4000. Keep this in mind. Keep the figure as 4000 in your mind. Okay, when will you make a profit? Above 4000. Uh, help me with the first column and the second column, everyone. Look at your first column and this column only right now. Is it correct? 4,000 you have bought. 
एनीथिंग अबाउट फोर थाउजेंड इज योर प्रॉफिट एनीथिंग बिलो फोर थाउजेंड इज योर लॉस ये एक शेयर का ये एक शेयर का स्ट्रेटजी इज व्हाट स्ट्रेटजी इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ शेयर एज वेल एज व्हाट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ शेयर प्लस शेयर प्लस पुट ऑप्शन नाउ पुट ऑप्शन में व्हेन आर यू मेकिंग अ प्रॉफिट सो हेजिंग मींस व्हाट अपोजिट हम लोग ने ये बाय किया था टू मेक प्रॉफिट व्हेन द मार्केट्स आर गोइंग अप बट वी वर नॉट कंप्लीटली श्योर ऑफ द मार्केट्स गोइंग अप वी आर मॉडरेटली बुलिश सो व्हेन वी आर मॉडरेटली बुलिश व्हाट आर वी हैविंग वी आर हैविंग अ कॉम्बिनेशन हियर सो व्हेन वी आर हैविंग अ कॉम्बिनेशन व्हाट विल हैपन ये नहीं चला या ये चला इफ वन वे द मार्केट इज गोइंग टू गो तो यहां पे वी जस्ट डिड अ स्ट्रेटजी राइट so together these are going to help me make a call option now what was in the call option limited loss unlimited okay uh you can see these figures right you can see these figures agar main agar 5000 dal do if i put 5000 yahan pe 1000 aayega correct premium same hi rahega will this figure be with more will this figure be more सेम थिंग अप्लाई अप सेम थिंग अप्लाई अप टू 3000 टू 3000 ईयर यहां पे आप प्रॉफिट बना रहे हो ना बट तो इफ यू कम टू दिस यू विल कम टू द सेम फिगर आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेरिवेटिव्स व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेरिवेटिव्स इफ यू गो फॉर दिस हेजिंग स्ट्रेटजी तो हेजिंग में क्या होता है हेजिंग में यू आर सी इट्स सिंपल when we are playing a cricket match let's say the match is between india and new zealand two same opponents level wise okay we betting let's say if i bet if i bet on india and if the opponent wins which should not happen uh i will lose in a bet correct so let's say my bet with him is for india but the match is going well there is a chance of me to lose it what will i do one more bet but this time the bet is with new zealand so abhi in this case kya ho raha hai ek result mere favor mein hai ek result nahi hai but main mera loss kam kar raha hu so when i have applied this strategy i am making profit also but at the same time there is i know ek side profit hone wala hai whether that side is in my favor or no is what it is have you understood this so like that there are different what you say kind of combined strategies which we do like long put and all so these are derivatives strategies as i said there are close to 22 strategies i'm not going to all but at least i'm making you aware hedging strategies are you understanding hedging when will you apply hedging when you know one side is not that much which is there okay uh like there is uh, this one is also good strategy yahan pe bhi dekho buy a stock and sell a put option which was that short call buy buy a stock again uh, whenever you buy a stock keep this in mind markets upar jane wala hai but not fully bullish you are moderately bullish are you understanding the word is what the word is here neutral to moderately bullish iske liye aap safer se matlab keep set that mean you are completely bullish to kal ye hota tha sorry matlab buy call option hota tha if you are completely bullish so what would have happened it would have been only pure buy but yahan pe kya hone wala hai yahan pe kya hone wala hai you are going for both of them are you understanding again the same thing will be there you are trying to minimize your loss ya bigger agar aap dekhoge see every time there will not be money be made sometimes you have to play on the safer side also are you getting it okay uh cryptocurrency yes uh how many trade in cryptocurrency that's it which cryptocurrency bitcoin okay okay fair uh is okay let him trade i am not interested uh whether is making but what the happening is cryptocurrency be careful uh still it is not a regulated currency okay it is not a regulated currency we can see profits being made but losses are high and it is purely working on news 
cryptocurrency is purely working on news like let's say bitcoin for example when i took a bitcoin uh, i didn't uh, is an example wise if i have taken a bitcoin as an example what is happening in that case bitcoins may let's say there was a news tesla will be using bitcoins value went up all of a sudden news aaya he is not going to use it anymore achanak se call aaya the portfolio have half because of these things which are there so when i'm talking about it i'm talking i'm saying it they are purely in a form of a, what you say it is not a legal currency in most part india mein kya chal raha hai what is happening india ji indians are smart indian government is smart it has not yet legalized just like betting it has not yet legalized but whatever income you will earn उसपे 30% टैक्स, why? Because what if आगे जाके legalize कर दिया, तो tax वाला condition पहले डालना है, and what is happening in this case? What are we using here? It is a digital wallet, right? Yes. It goes in a digital wallet. Why is it not legalized? Can anyone tell me? Because we are only creating the currency. Are we only creating the currency using the blockchain technology? Yes. Yes. And uh, अभी ये बहुत सारे हैं यहाँ पे ये बहुत सारे आप आपका खुद का भी क्रिएट कर सकते हो What has to be done is you have to have what you have to have that network where it can be done at the same time your uh, kind of news and all will be important at the same time usage is going to be important how much you help that part to the people is going to be very much crucial Are you getting it? Yes, bitcoins are the major attraction. No doubt, ma'am has the other one. In part of the other one, other one which is there. What are you having? Dodge coins. Bitcoin. Okay. Ha. Huh. Anyone else having any other thing? Okay, great. Making profit. Twenty dollars. See, you can you can see them. Ah, uh, the. The people here. Okay. Ah, uh, last two minutes. I'm done. I'm done. The conclusion part. Okay. Ah, uh, basically, coming here. So yes, from yesterday and uh, what you say? Since yesterday I'm behind you, telling you to start to invest. The early you invest, it is better because your money gets compounded. There's a concept called as compounding. uh this is what compounding is this is what the benefit of investing early looks like as an early investor and a person who is here so therefore i asked you yesterday your age right 19 years just imagine till the time 15 you turn there are 31 years to go okay how much will 1000 per month compound to hey says an example aap zyada bhi dal sakte ho But what I'm trying to say is just see the difference. Are you understanding? The early you start, it is better. That is then. Uh, as I said, I told you the uh, the different option applicability. See, if you can see this asset screener, money control is there. There is all these websites. Like I yesterday used Monistar also. Then there is uh, value research was there. All sign uh, which. As I said, we are in a fast-moving world, so we will not have that much time. We are more on the instant food category people. So, for that reason, we have already made a plan. We have to do this. A lot of things. If possible, start reading the newspapers, start doing that. So, the more we start early, ah, additional things. As of here, must have done. If not, try to do this. Okay. One last thing. Now, open your notes. And uh, yesterday one question was there at the start. What was your expectations from it? And now match that expectation or see whether it has exceeded or not. Whatever you wrote, whatever you wrote, uh, first exercise which we did, first and the last exercise. The yeah, last one who you wrote right yesterday. The expectation from the course. I told you to do that, right? Uh, whatever it is there so i hope 
I hope. So I hope those expectations are met. If I have been not, sorry about it. Uh, I hope I have done it. The what do you say? How much time you spent with me in the last two days? I hope it is valued, and I hope you uh, we get to meet like this often, or other friends and all you can suggest in this way. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's not done. Uh, whoever grabbed, wait. Uh, I'll take it later. Uh, pay attention here, boss. Uh, so now you came yesterday with, I suppose, a mindset that investment is risky. At least some of you came with a mindset that investment is risky. But then, if I ask you right now, is it so? I don't think so. Is it so? Is it so? This is the common language you guys say, right? Is it risky? I don't think so. If you do investment properly, if you do like using all those tools and all which are there, I don't feel so it is risky. Right? Again, just to give you that summary, keep your returns in mind. How much you want to earn? So entry is it? Up to your size, you can. You don't have to judge the shop up or down, that you can stay or not stay. And also the tips which I gave you in that. So I hope these two days I have done my part. What had to be done? What had to be covered? If there uh, are any issues you have, sorry about that. On being uh, what you say late or no, making you wait for a lot of period of time. But the concepts are many. If I go back to this thing, that is. Uh, is all done? Okay. Yes. Now, we check it. Just see whether all the concepts are actually done by me or not. Anything which I missed out. Is there anything we missed out? Well, yesterday we had put ticks, right? Today do I have to put a tick or is it done? Sorted? Okay, fair. So, uh, basically this is what I have been doing. Or this is my plan. Like I have been teaching this, uh, what I say that is, Financial and uh, what you say literacy to the people. The the firm which I'm working or that is my own setup only. The main idea is not to sell anything. Did I sell any of the things to you? No. Because I'm not that. My main intention is to sell the knowledge to you guys, which makes you aware and makes you understand on your own. So I hope I was able to do this. <laughs> So we are done with it. That's the wrap up. Uh, uh, this is my details. Good evening, everyone. So, on behalf of the Data Science Club, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for your valuable presence and active participation for this financial workshop. First and foremost, I would like to express our sincere appreciation to Mr. Prasad Nair, our esteemed resource person, for his insightful sessions and valuable contributions throughout the workshop. expertise and engaging presentations have undoubtedly enriched our understanding of financial instruments and investment strategies. We would also like to highlight the importance of investing for the younger generation as discussed during the workshop. Understanding financial concepts and investment opportunities at a young age is crucial for building a secure financial future. Mr. Nayak's guidance in this area has been invaluable. To our participants, we extend our heartfelt thanks for your active involvement and enthusiasm. Your eagerness to learn and engage in meaningful discussions has made this workshop a truly enriching experience for all. Furthermore, I would like to extend our gratitude to Dr. Himrata Bhagavan, Vice Chancellor of Hutchinson University, for her support and encouragement. Dr. Bhagwan Balani, sir, Registrar of Hutchinson University. Professor Shaila Jarane, Academic Head of Data Science Department, for her continuous support and mentorship. 
also the teaching faculty of the data science department for their dedication to academic excellence. I would also like to thank the non-teaching staff for their efforts in ensuring the 